Hello everyone, uh, we're here again with another dev submission, and this time we have one that has interesting uh, stuff with it, because it has multiplayer. So, you're hopefully, HOPEFULLY, <laughs> gonna see me and Tony playing at the same time. Um, but you might just see me playing, because uh, we tried to test out the multiplayer before the recording, and uh, we couldn't figure it out. Uh, I believe it's tied to the narrative, you have to like unlock characters to be able to have more someone for him to play as but pfft, i don't know i don't I yeah don't, we'll, I, we'll have to find out i guess you, you said that it is mentioned that parsec does work with this game right uh or I mean, the, uh, on the page he confidently tells us to use parsec to achieve multi this was not my idea this was the oh, devs okay, idea yeah. to use parsec to do to do this excellent so. So the game has local multiplayer, it does not have online multiplayer. It only has online multiplayer by um, using this third-party program called Parsec. Uh, if you publish the game to Steam, I believe Steam has their own version of um, like remote play that you can do to do this. There's guides somewhere on the internet that you can look this up. Oh, really? I actually heard about this from... This uh, ain't on Steam, no. <laughs> yeah, it's like a free feature of Steam that you can just... Yeah. If you're the dev, you have to like enable it, but yeah, it's pretty cool it sounds cool it's like oh you just have free parsec for any game on steam like that's cool but again the yeah. dev the dev has to enable it so if you know if you're questioning why why it doesn't work for some game then well maybe the dev didn't enable it i don't know um but yeah the reason why we wanted to test this beforehand was to make sure you know this parsec thing works and uh <laughs> well we didn't want to keep playing and going through the game so if we get to a point where there's multiplayer and it doesn't work, then I don't know. It's, it's going to be like some cost at that point. We might just give up on multiplayer. Yes. So here's hoping it works. Um, there's like some other issues with this game. Like <laughs> I looked and saw in the forums that there was an update uh, this morning. So I was like, oh, I guess I should re-download it. So I re-downloaded it from Itch, but then I realized Itch said the last update was 11 days ago. So, I don't know if this is updated. Like, I don't know why you would not update all the versions of the game. I don't feel like going to the other download links to find the right version. Um, especially since there's no, like, version number on the game. The name of the game is LMBS on the folder, which I believe is the name of the plugin that this game uses. Which I understand when you, you know, you, you probably installed the plugin and then built the game out of the demo project to make sure it works. Um, you should probably change the name of the folder <laughs> so it reflects the name of the game. Um, but anyway, let's just start this thing because uh, I, I always worry that we're talking too much at the beginning of these things, you know? Yeah, now we gotta, we gotta see if the multiplayer actually works. Yeah, we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta get there, man. We're gonna do a new game. Oh, another problem is that this game has uh, that bug that a lot of RPG Maker games has, where it can't deal with faster frame rate monitors. Um, which I don't know how that happens, but uh, I believe Nolan has a fix in his signature or something. There's a fix somewhere. Uh, so you need to fix that because, you know, this being an action game, it runs at, if it runs at 100, you know, my monitor's max speed is 120 frames per second. So that means the game was running at double speed when I was playing it, and that makes it unplayable. <laughs> so super fast yeah it makes yeah. it very difficult um all right so yeah uh, I went ahead and changed my monitor's frame rate for you in Windows so that you don't have to, so we don't get stuck with a buggy game. So here we go. Uh, thanks for playing. Uh, it's early access. There's bugs. Hope the game's to your liking. If by any chance you make a sick combo, don't hesitate to send it to me. Sure. Uh, he's been like this for a while. This is the second day unconscious. When did you, mom, where did you find him? Wait, who are we talking about? He was on the beach. I was just walking there when I came across him. He was just lying there, battered. I'll add that he... I'll add that he was unconscious the whole time. Kind of a weird way to phrase that. Ouch, my head hurts so much. 
So there's like custom art for the characters on the store page, but they use. But it's just whatever art TP or whatever. Yeah, they've made they've concoct they've made built them using the custom character creator in in the engine. It looks like, which is weird. Uh, huh? Where am I? He seems woke up. Oh, I guess I don't know. Maybe this person's first language is English, because that seems like like grammar mistake that a person would make. What do we do? Let's see what he does for now. I'm kind of curious. Uh, woman's room? But they healed me. He had his chest place pierced. The metal, whatever it is, was actually stabbing him. Took a lot of my strength to unbend it. What happened? There we go. <laughs> to survive such a blow, he must be as strong as you are, Mom. <laughs> I'll go check. Wait, why did it do that? Uh, I'll go check on him. Go and make some tea, Wendy. You'll bring him over? Well, as much as I like to get him outside, he's injured. I can't let him leave like that, at least for now. I don't know where he is. I don't see him on the screen anywhere. Oh. <laughs> why? Like, the camera zoomed in, so I assume he's in one of the rooms to the right, but... He's off screen, yeah. Yeah, it's a little Maybe. weird. How do you feel? Whoa! There it is. Haha, <laughs> 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 sorry if I startled you. You're, you're the one that healed me. Yep, that's me. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go, keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot, bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, I mean your debt, you saved my life. No problem, though I must say, whoever struck you is incredibly strong. The Pearson bend such tough metal is no easy feat. Even I had some trouble with bending back to shape. <clears throat> oh, where are my manners? My name is Pearl, and nice to meet you. Likewise, my name is Joseph Joestar. So, Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> no, I will all imagine. What? I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> I always That's just a assume a character is named after some anime character, you know? Yeah. Um, so, Joseph, would it be trouble... Would it trouble you to if you told me what happened to you? The way your chestplate was pierced tells me you got into a fight. Some pirates attacked me. I was traveling towards Fragun. Fragun, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> proper nouns. Let's go. And suddenly we were accosted. With luck, I defeated a few. Defeated, I murdered them with my sword. Yeah. And was able to abandon the ship before I was captured. Of course, I knew those ships weren't trustworthy. I'll send a squad to deal with them later. I mean. It's Seems pretty sloppy to just let unknown ships, like, if that's your job, to, like, make sure bad ships don't do bad things. What? what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Joseph... Heal the added. Heal the added. Well, Did Joseph... you... Oh, heal heal Yeah. Well, Joseph, if you want, you can stay for now until you're fully heal that is. Thank you, I swear I'll repay your kindness somehow. Somehow. So, Joseph, what... I'm sorry, I can't answer that! Man, if he was gonna do that, he should have done oh that a long God. time ago. When when they do the uh, face, it's like just the hair changes on the RTP portraits. Oh, for these two characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beats me. He simply got scared and ran away when I asked what he was. His clothes were kind of gaudy, so I thought he was a merchant. A merchant who wears awesome armor. Uh, but what happened definitely sparked my interest. I'm going to follow him. I could only tell him that I was your daughter and my name. He just bolted out. He... With the eyes, lol. If only he was a normal man. Sometimes my A button doesn't, like, go. I wonder if there's, like, wait commands. Please select your preferred device. This will only affect tutorial messages. Oh, okay. We have detected a gamepad. Gamepad prompts will be used. Okay. Uh, good to know... These buttons after I've already started going through those menus. Whoa! <laughs> oh, custom art that's like really low font. Thrown off F Gartha by someone who doesn't even belong there. And if, as if things couldn't get worse, I just remember that I'm not immortal. I am as not capitalized in Terra Terracria. So, like, why not, like, crop this dude's face into the box below? Like, why have default art instead of the actual custom art because like his, oh his, oh I, yeah 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 because yeah. his I clothes do. don't entirely match they do not uh, the the collar is a little different and 
Yeah. It's kind of funny because yeah, if you use RTP, that means he had to design the characters somewhat similarly to the RTP version he made. So. Yeah. Kind of funny. That's what I did in Oni Cell Sword. Uh, I think it's a pretty good idea, but mostly because I wanted to be lazy and not fully change like the sprites. Yeah. Which I edited them a little bit and nobody seemed to notice, so I was like, okay. I guess people just assume the chibi art just doesn't look that much like the main person, I don't know. But yeah, for portraits yeah. and stuff, I definitely was like, no, I gotta I gotta replace the portraits, obviously. <laughs> I got this cool art, I'm gonna use it. Uh, Indeed. I wouldn't worry about normal injuries, but if anyone turns out to be fatal, that won't end. <laughs> Well, <laughs> yes, fatal injur injuries generally do not turn out well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's so many little typos. I not capitalize kidness. What is happening? Who's he talking to? Thanks. I see your kindness extends far oh, beyond the doors no. of your house. Let's see. Yeah, this is like that's this is really bad. <laughs> I feel like that's not even grammar. That's just like weird. Yeah. Um, Building my power shouldn't himself, be a problem. Guess, yeah. Unless my fire powers become useless. Fire icon. Guide updated. Whenever you forget something about the adventure, check the guide section of the menu. You got memoriam. It's been put inside key items. Uh, adventuring records. Okay, quest log. Yep. Save points to save over the one I made before when I was trying to see. That's also a pretty good portrait right there. Yeah, these could be just not RTP. I mean, it's funny because they're obviously like very amateurish art, but at least it's custom. Yeah. Wait, what just happened? Hold on. Oh, there's like hey, pixel see, movement. Oh, full movement. Oh. Along with all this, the trees I've seen hundreds of times. Oh, I see. What was I doing before, Ooh. where I saw, like, the name of the house was wrong? It was, like, slash N or something. Oh, I, I might have said uh, uh, uh. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, pixel movement feels so good. Uh, he has, like, a... What's going on with this, like... He's, like, a little bouncy. I wonder if there's, like, a... Something going on. Uh, okay. Alright, so we got this fight here, which I have to do by myself. Ah, the young one. I knew someone was following me. This time, you won't escape death. Ugh. We got a tech technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of buttons here. That says LT. I was pressing RT before. Just mashing it. Um, this is actually a PlayStation icon. I don't know why it's said. Oh, no, I'm thinking it's a mouse. Sorry. Never mind. But it's a PlayStation controller with... Oh, no, I see. It has both. Both PlayStation and Xbox buttons. Uh, he lent skill. Battle menu, normal attack. Okay. Oh my god, oh. voices. Oh, I see. I did this before, yeah. Am I dead? Okay. Dano? I saw some other language. It said Danio total. Instead of, I think, damage total. Oh my gosh. XP Silva. Wow, I leveled up. Alright. <laughs> Elance Big learned. Picture. Traveling between realms has uh, really has a high toll. Uh huh. Yes. Very good. Alright. So. Oh, I don't know how to play RPG Make Games with a controller, apparently. Uh, it's how I learned Elance. What did I learn? Pentaslash. My elens. Uh, so I don't know how to perform these. I'm just like mashing buttons when I play. Um, okay. I did this one for sure. Slash upwards while jumping, then falls down on the enemy. What? Bum, 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 okay. Bum. All right. Well, we got we gotta get. Bum. And we gotta get Tony in this. Oh wait, this guy's dead. What's your deal? <laughs> Did he kill him, bastard? Bastardo. How dare he commit murder? D darn, that battle was a lot harder than what I is thought. He yeah, is he talking to us? It's so weird. I don't recognize these signs. Wait a minute. That's a village. Better, better let myself know what I'm thinking. Yeah, might as well head there so I can rest a bit and maybe buy something to eat. 
but I really should be careful. If I step off out of the trail, monsters might attack me, and I'm sure I won't survive such a thing. Yeah, so ridiculous. So much self-talking. So funny. Mm. Alright, so I guess I do have to follow the main story, because I want to... Uh... Gotta let myself uh, know. What village? What are you talking about? That's, I thought I was going towards the, the village. Oh, this village over here. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, give me people so that Tony has someone to play as. Oh, okay. The owner's <laughs> outside. That makes no sense, but okay. Your hat is like... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's in front of... Yeah, it's in front of... How'd that happen? That's weird. I have a small selection, but they're well-made. Why even talk to me? Don't talk to me. I have $500. Damn. It's a good thing those people didn't rob me. What's going on with these icons? They're just like... Like, they just turned up the saturation on these or something. Like, they're crazy looking. Um, what does this ring do? What's ether properties? Uh, oh, attack and elent attack are two different things, eh? Alright. I do like elent attack because it makes me attack many times. So it seems good. Boop de boop de boo. Uh, no, I only want damage. No thanks. I have to press Y to open this menu. Which I guess is like... Equipment. Yes, Joseph. Wait, what? What did I just do? Why is the remove icon a horn? Uh... Sure. Alright. There's no time! You join my party. No? Alright. In? Not open yet. What am I doing? Child, join my party. See, he wants to join the militia. Just to have a child in your party. What? Guardar partida. Restuar salud. Uh... Does this mean change party? What does this mean? No. It means save. Somehow. Oh, wait. I did something. So I healed. Restuar Salud? I think this means only restore? I thought Salud meant like cheers or something. Or like thanks. Hmm. Restuar sounds like rest restore. But... I'm sorry I don't speak Portuguese, I assume? <laughs> oh no, what the hell is. Oh, this is like backwards talk? Backwards, yeah, is it like. Zatanna or whatever. Step far from me, stranger, or else you'll face danger. Ugh. Huh? Perla, what are you doing here? Trying to join your party. Why are you running away from me? Uh, why did you suddenly... Blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, but I had to do it. Had to? You're acting way too familiar. I know you. For five minutes. Two days, two days actually. Wait the hell up, don't go around changing the subject. Very well, I'll stop beating around the bush. I love you, I guess. What is this music? <laughs> <laughs> this can sound weird, but I'm actually looking for my siblings. It has 25, been 25 years since they were gone. And I'm pretty sure that they understand our language. And what's written in this parchment. Okay. Is that all? I really can't take you seriously. Forgive me, but I thought there was going to be some sort of danger. To be honest, there's actually someone following me, and I must avoid them. Sorry, but oh, I can't tell you. Uncapitalized what. eyes, man. Yeah. Okay, that music is over now. Yeah, sadly, I can't trust you that much. Purely by the fact that you speak that weird language, going around screaming things like that is bound to cause some stir on the people. But what was that? You what you said to me? Uh, yeah, yeah. It sounded far more pretty that time. Go figure that it was actually a threat. Anyways, it's about time we continue the plot, maybe. I figured out that you might have a se severe case of insanity. <laughs> You'll need a guide for these parts, and I might do the trick. Wait, you're serious? A second party member? Why would I ever want that? Yep. You're the leader of the armed forces. If you suddenly disappeared, wouldn't that cause a ruckus? How do you know that she's the leader of the armed forces? The arm <laughs> army has its orders. They will be able to work without me for a while. What about your daughter? She'll be so lone. 
She's 15 years old. She can handle herself and can give orders to the army while I'm gone. That'll teach her the ropes. That sounds way too young to lead an army. <laughs> She's stubborn. Pearl has joined your party. We did Pearl. it. Let me give you something. She's really so sorry. You might want to get some supplies. How are uh, ether apples? Yeah, I was say, let's, yeah. F reading everything. Yeah, as so long as it's like... Just yeah. tutorial stuff, yeah. Just like or, tutorial or read quest. The stuff. She said two ether apples. That's so expensive. Shub dub dub dub. That ether apple. PS. Okay. I, I see HP and EP. I don't know what PS is, but I guess I'll buy it. She says. She said. Oops, not that many. She said two of these, right? Give your patronage. Who are you? Join my party. Uh huh. Yeah, great. If I get hurt. I'm not sure. But they restore PS, not health. Old man has a quest, I guess. He's gonna be like, I really wish someone would kill at least five bandits. Um. Okay, well, let's save because I don't know. Let's uh, go with our pastado spaghetti. I don't know. Uh. World map. A map. Thankfully, I won't get lost with this. Wait. Angorian, this is the other side of Thessia. Thessia, isn't it the world name in Dragon Age? Uh, places now show their name on the world map. I did it, quest complete. Uh, so what is my, like, overall mission, though? Like, I have a party member, and so I'm eager to just run out there and fight people so that Tony can finally play. Wait, I can save I... in this menu? So what the save point for? <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. That old RPG maker gag. Let's just do both. It's like, okay. Oh, set <laughs> Elance. Oh, this is probably what I have to do. Okay. Uh, Elance thing reminds me of back in Chrono Cross, the Chrono Trigger sequel. It named, it just named spells elements. Mm. But elements are a thing that exists that in fantasy games. So I remember I did not understand the magic system for like half the game because when you hear elements, you're like lightning, fire, water, but it's just the name of the magic system. And a spell is called, like, a spell is called an element. And I, why? Why would you do this? Why would you take an existing term in this genre that always means something and then make it mean something else? It's, it's so ridiculous. But obviously, looking back on it, yeah, I could have maybe read it better. And, but it's like, why? Why pick that word? Why pick a word that exists in that genre? You know, it's like, it's like, I don't know, let's say in a shooter, you know changing the word of guns to grenades and it's like okay <laughs> you know what i mean it's like why why would you do that sure you could figure it out if you read really closely but it just makes it more confusing he said i'm selling <laughs> good armor anyway. i swear <laughs> i swore uh we no longer have money because we bought two apples so um the quest does not tell me learn potential oh interesting Hmm. Attack oh, 180? Okay. I only have three. There's a lot of there's a lot of problems with a lot of these menus here. Um <laughs> Alright. What Zen Kudo fighting style? Alright. Looks like these are way too expensive, so. Uh, so yeah, I looked at the quest and it just says to come to this town, which I've done. So Head over to the nearest village. I've done that. So, what am I supposed to do now? Can I just run around and fight guys? Am I ready for that? I guess when I leave, I'll see if the girl is like, What are you doing? Ugh. And she'll tell me what to do. In? Not open yet. Figured I'd get more party members. You look like a playable character. Takeshi. It's a miracle to see you again. I see you got a new boyfriend. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Got him. <laughs> Direct attack on his life points. Was man. he literally like angry and sees? <laughs> Stop it! He's someone to help before things got out of. I guess you all, you all right? Yes. In that case, please forgive my manners. My name is Ichikazi Takeshi. Ichikazi is my surname because I'm Japanese, so my surname's first. Got it? Okay. Do you understand? <laughs> I need to flex my knowledge. 
<laughs> of the world. <laughs> oh, Jeez. my name is Joseph. Pleasure is mine. Joseph. So I should call you Ichikaze then, right? I don't know what Japanese manners would dictate. I think that's what I would call him, right? Instead of his uh, given name, because there's ooh. no other there's no other Ichikazes around, so he's Ichikaze and not Takeshi. Oh yeah, I, guess so. I think that's how it works. Nolan's Japanese. He'll let us know. Thanks, Nolan. <laughs> well, I'm not here to here to hear about your relationship. I'm actually in need of your help. No, I need your help. You need to become what? A party member. Why? So why did like the armor of these guys was brightened up, but not in the portraits? Um. We have received a report from the Edelon Mines. There have been sightings of blood and screams from the mines. We sent a squad to deal with it, but only one soldier is able to come back. He's delirious and claims to see something fat. Fat. Uh, let's check it out. It's a fish in a business now. We gotta take care of it. Let's go. We have no time to lose. Yes, because this guy is clearly, like... Okay, yeah. So this quest isn't progressing. Super so... importante. Apparently she's recruited me into her mission, her team now. So I'm a soldier for the government. I won't barge in. The government? Uh, okay. Oh, cool, yeah, the things are on the things. Alright, so I can save anywhere I want, so I'm gonna save right here. Just to be closer by, like, five feet. Yeah, look at all this art. There's art. There's art here. Why would you ever Big eyes. Super big eyes. Oh, I see. Do this dance music. Man. I can apparently jump here for no reason. But why? But why here and not here? Uh, Silva. Uh, a what? Oh, this isn't a bridge. It's this way. Look, chests. Ether orange. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I, yeah. So I am thinking of this whole combat system reminds me of uh, Tales of, well, the Tales of series, specifically I guess the Super Nintendo ones. And oh. I just remembered in those games, I think they're the ones who do apple gels heal you and orange gels give you mana back or something like that. So Tales of or wait. Well, just the Tales series in general, but obviously they have is... SN... They were on SNES. Okay, yes. I don't remember how. I was thinking. Okay, I got. I was like, I remember Secret of series. Yeah. No, no, that was the of Mana series. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, was... yeah. Secrets of Mana, Legends of Mana. Okay, I got. Yeah, I got mixed up. Okay, Tales of. Yeah, yeah Tales of is still going, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll open the menu for you once they're head. Oh God, they're doing a tutorial. I wasn't paying attention. Once they're head up to your character's fighting style, in this case, Zenkudo fighting style, choose the combo plus one Zen skill. Kudo. My Zenkudo. Okay. Don't you mess with my Zenkudo. Oh, this is cheap. Gain extra normal attack, the skill doesn't need to be equipped. Okay. Okay, I unlocked it. Uh, give me the next one. Oh, I see. So, is it just that one that's cheap? This is has no cost. It's the highlighting bowl. Okay, so I can't buy that. Elements. I, it's got to be short for elements, which I, I hate also that it's that, but that's my guess. You can access <laughs> learn potential tab, but then you're many at a time. All characters are... Yeah. Um, so we have three characters. I gotta learn my potential. Do you want to play as now? one of these people? Let's see. I guess I'll figure this out by... We gotta see if it even works. So she has elements, so that's good. L, oh god, I hate that word. <laughs> he has Ellens too, so... Ellens. Burn potential? It's no. my Ellens. Where was I equipping these? It's my animality. Status, party... Well, I was gonna say, do you have any preference between any of these characters? I guess you have no real reason to. I do not. No, I don't. I don't whatever. It's what it's what yeah. it's... Okay, so now her Ellens are set. I looked at this menu earlier and there's nothing in here, but it looks like they got set at some point. So, 
Yeah, I assume the difference between these Ds is that this is me, and then these uh, greenish-blue ones are you. Oh, uh, okay. So you have a neutral special and a side special. EP and Flux? What are these costs? Some of them can be done on, have to be done on the ground. Other ones can be done anywhere. I assume it's a free means. Um, so it's like R trigger to like use your special attacks, and then I forget what button to do default attacks. We'll but if it's if like it if it's works. like tails, then like you can do special attacks. It's just fucking spam them, and then uh, use basic attacks to get your mana back, which might take a while. I don't know. We'll see what the balance is like. Yeah. I guess another save point. Yeah, come on, man. Like, is this if this is a common event, then this is really easy to fix. All right. Uh, I mean, I just really want to fight somebody to see if this shit even works. Okay, I guess we go down here. Aha! Creatures, time to die, asshole. All right, so I gotta pick my get my stick up. Oh sh! Oh, whoops. I'm moving. Wait, I am realize. I? Oh, it works! It works! Oh my god, it works! Oh god, I'm jumping! I'm jumping! That's that's crazy! It works! You gonna hear my stick fans? <laughs> Our fan base? If it's, I don't know if it's picking up or not. What am I button? Let's see. <laughs> I can double jump. I can, can air double jump. Oh yeah, we can double jump. Wait, how do you dash? My that's my my uh, I don't know light punch whatever my my oh, X. Okay, I it's like X. Yeah. What's attack? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Uh, LT and RT? Do you have those on your stick? Oh, there it is. Oh god, it's so far. Yeah, you don't want to use this, it. Is this the only attack? That's default attack. You want to use, like, some sort of special, which is RT. I don't know if I have RT. Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. Go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's take a off screen. Yeah. Later. Oh, shit. Oh, my god, it works. It works. The multiplayer so works. Wow. We can play Tales of whatever this game's called. I already forgot because it's a very long title and it's hard to yes. remember. Like, also, I do nothing until battle happens. Yeah, that's how Tales works too. Just kind oh, of okay. Uh, let's get how far I go off screen. Later, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can I stay up here forever? <laughs> they asked for awesome combos. I think that's pretty good. That's like the Gambit glitch in... Uh, uh, Marvel 2, Marvel yeah. Marvel 2, where you just be like, oh, well, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> so janky. Like, can I just stay in the air? Let's see. Oh, no. No, am I jumping? I'm not gonna trippy at all. I'm just <laughs> trying to break the game. Yeah. All right. Potential energy shard. Oh, <laughs> I see what that means. So that's kind of a funny English thing. Because I thought it meant that I was potentially getting an energy shard. But oh. they're, they're shards of potential yeah. energy. Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, you leveled up. For your potential. For your, your potential. bust size leveled up too, I think. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the most important stat. This potential. art is... I, I get, like, at least it's custom, but man, it's definitely very amateur. Yeah. Speaking of Takeshi, I just remembered. This guy looks like... Takeshi's castle. Well, I was gonna say the main character from Samurai Warriors, who I think his name is Takeshi. But I don't know. We'll go have oh. to look that up as I'm editing this. I was gonna say Domon Kachu from G Gundam. You can also look him up. <laughs> oh yeah, the main this main character looks like him, right? The guy in the I guess both of them kind of do. Yeah, actually. Uh, well, yeah. Domon has a red headband, but the guy in the left also. Yeah, I think it's more similar hairstyle. Yeah. <laughs> See you, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so they're actually on combo. Fire, right? <laughs> yeah, there, air, air dash. Like Sentinel. Or like oh, you killed him, okay. Oh, damn it. Damn. It always has to restart us to do the little victory screen. Yeah. That's so full of potential energy right now. Doola -doo -doola -doo. Am I? Are we dying? No, it looks like we're good. I, I was like, I, I think I've taken a lot of damage because <laughs> I'm just jumping around. You spammed a lot of your attacks, so you have to use. Ba I've been spamming my attacks though. So I my don't know mana. Why your mana solo compared to mine? Oh. Was oh, that me? It says P2 oh, okay. on there. 
It no, does. You yeah. can't do anything. You can't do anything. <laughs> no, <I> wow. <laughs> you can leave the fucking. I can leave. What am I oh, saying? I have no mana defeat, left. Okay. Defeat. In defeat. The enemy. Oh, it restores some of your, some of our stats at the end of battle. I just saw it. Yeah, that's why I, I, I could start doing the start, but ran out. Oh, I've seen this. I just remember the sprite. I had not remember the sprite from a certain Wait, so job. Wait, so Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Here's infinite combos. All right. Sick. All right. Rizzo Force. Rizzo Force. I think he's saying Tiger Sword. I think that's the name of the. Sword. Oh, okay. Probably. Yeah. I, didn't, I couldn't tell you this thing. I just kind of said what it kind of sounds like. Tiger Sword. Rizzo Force. Yeah. Four yeah. Five. Smash buttons. Smash buttons. All right. So I might have an infinite combo. So that's good. So I, I'm going to give a technical score at least something. Just for the fact that this works. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little impressed, to be completely honest. Yeah. Well, let's, we can't give him the, you know, the online multiplayer. Tiger Sword! Tiger Sword! Tiger Sword! Tiger Sword! Sword. 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 Infinite combo! Juggle everyone in the corner! Sword. Yeah, this, I miss the, the actual combat <laughs> system's like, horrific. But the fact that it works is impressive. But it's also horrific. Oh, man. Yeah, so... Like, not good. I mean, I don't know how this particular plugin works, but I know that in RPG Maker, um, these these battle sprites that you see, these chibi guys that are only slightly, very slightly bigger than the open world sprites, yeah. you can actually make them however big you want. So you can have mm. a full size characters, and you know, so long as the uh, number of frames is you know like equally divided up properly, it'll. Uh, RPG Maker will automatically like uh, split up the frames and animate them properly. So, I guess what I'm getting at is if you felt like spending money on this game, like say it's meant to be a commercial project, you could potentially do art for like actual sprites that have actual dudes, that have long limbs. Mm. I don't know if this uh, program will let you do hitboxes and hurtboxes so that it doesn't isn't as jank, but I mean, aside from that, yeah, that that's not going to fix the other problem of having, like, two and three frame animations for these attacks, you know? Yeah. But I think that would alleviate some of the jankiness. Just, ow, they have projectiles! It's not fair! Listen. Tiger Sword! Tiger, Tiger Sword! sword. Tiger Sword! <laughs> uh, off I go. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta try to take someone with you into the sky. Oh, okay. Is that the man? Yeah, okay. No, come back. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you, nerds. Oh, they fell out. Just like a, a combo to fighting game. Tiger Zord, Tiger Zord. Hilarious. Hilarious. Uh. So what are we doing? We're just fighting. We're just fighting a lot of guys. <laughs> We're just fighting. I a lot guess of guys. I was gonna say, yeah, this is like impressive. It works, but I'm not like it's so whatever. <laughs> like it's pretty boring. Yeah, and knowing our want, devs, they probably want to play. play uh, I think Tales of Fantasia is the first one. Compare. <laughs> the gotcha. Game, a game for Super Nintendo from 30 years ago. Yes, yes. Alright, so I guess I should start skipping some of these fights. Sure. Uh, there's an exclamation point here. Oh, that just tells me to go up. <laughs> so, am I playing on easy or hard? I thought I saw the option to change the difficulty, but then I didn't do that? Question mark. Where was that? The skull. Yeah. Recommended normal. Am I on? Uh, I don't know what difficulty I'm on. IA setup. What? Oh, I don't know what that means. I think there maybe that's like custom difficulty. I have no idea. Uh, so let's try normal. I feel like we're on easy, but this might make the game less fun. <laughs> so we'll see what okay. happens. Ow! Tiger sword. Tiger sword. Tiger sword, tiger sword. Flux, upside down exclamation points. 
Oh, I got him. I'm, oh, no, he can fight Axe Where are my air combos? I'm out of mana? I'm out of mana. Oh, shit. I'm out of mana! <laughs> Your spells just cost more, it seems like. Cause I'm but, just like I'm just I'm I'm mashing pretty hard. I'm oh yeah. Not running out of mana. <laughs> what are oh. you air jug? Are you flying into the air? <laughs> <laughs> but nothing else. All right. Oh, I can just jump down. All right. Thanks. <laughs> That's my mana pool. Yeah, I'm at five. I'm at right now. So I should oh, like stand back so you can like hit people with this. Does this get mana back? Sometimes the move comes out, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. There's might be some. I don't know yeah. what what the thing is that's restricting me or not. Yeah. Do you want to try the other guy? Maybe. Sure. Why not? I don't know if. Uh, how do I do that? Luke Formation, Kang. I assume. Because that's how. Yeah, party. That's how it works in uh, Tales. Uh. Okay. This? Oops, that's not what I meant. Oh, I see where I am. Okay, I okay. didn't know where the hell I was. Okay. I feel like I don't want. Okay, so this is the plugin. This isn't his problem, but this this is really fucking confusing. <laughs> like, Law. like I like I'm selecting up here, but once I click on somebody, I have to select down here. Yeah. It's like what? Why? Well, it is. It's plugin, but it's also you know just relying on a bunch of plugins like the amateur, right? It, that's just that's just RPG maybe relying on plugins that are seen to have amateurish issues. Yeah, it's Yanfly. Yanfly, why must you disappoint me with some of your plugins? I'm just like, why would you think this is good UI flow? <laughs> yep. All right, so now you're this guy. Oh, he has like oh, a. I'm Katana Man. Oh, is that a counter? He was like holding his sword, his sword in front of him. Guard, yeah. Um, only, does only my guy have a voice? Yes, so. Yeah, what does this do? Oh, oh it does hit. Okay, it just had like a big hitbox. I don't know. You just hit them with your sword? I guess so. I guess I should read what their skills are called so we get some kind of an idea. So far, it kind of seems like. The main character is the best character? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Let's look at your dude. No, let's not look at it that way. Let's look at set elements, right? But where the f There's so many fucking buttons here. And why why aren't they next to each other? Uh, you have dust. Hit with the blade shield. Sheathed. Okay, that sounds like not a good plan. Unsheathed the blade at sonic speed, slashing forward. Yeah, also my character has like three moves instead of Oh wait, what? This is I don't know what this means. Why are there two sets of these? I don't know why there's two sets of these. Um uh, huh. Lightning Flash. Life flux. Uh, yeah. I don't know why there's two sets of these. Um Silf Reversal? Uh, Sasha's forward at ma moving. Sasha is moving backward at massive speed. Okay. Uh, so let's just like put all of your skills on here. I don't know. Wait, why? I don't understand this at all. Um, why, like, um, why, um, 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 why do I have more skills up here than down here? The I don't know. This this must be. There must be like. I don't know, maybe one of them is like their auto control or something? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, there's a tutorial, there's a guide, but. Uh, extensions are parts of an elunt that finish in it moving, meaning these will not chain or alter in any way. Extensions provide extra hits of damage and end the skill immediately. Extensions are normally part of normal attacks. Normally part of normal attacks, alright. Uh, these extensions are always active, but using them means that you will need... I don't know why that has orphans or whatever to use a new... Uh, yeah. Pressing some sort of button or slightly before an elant or 
where normal attack ends the extension. I don't even know what it's talking about, dude. Um, boom, 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 boom. boom. These, whenever you're up in the air. Why isn't it showing me? Okay, game pack controls are over there. Yeah, I don't I don't understand why. Why are there two sets of dealings? What am I missing? Here? All right, whatever. Whatever. There's, there's no way to know. Um Hello! Oh, I shouldn't have gone this way with this shit. Yeah, where's this parry? Or it looks, it's, I guess it has a hitbox. I don't, I don't go up though, I'll stay in place. Look this. Fire attack, fire attack. Can I like... I think I got holding R to speed up, but I think that only works in conversations. Alright. Oh yeah, I might as well get this chest. Life gem, okay. Nah, we, uh... Money? I want the money. For no reason. Oh, I can't get the money. Oh, look at that. Chest is sideways. Where we got that asset from? Um... Oh, I'm forced to fight this guy, I guess. Uh... Ow! Stop with the projectiles! Jesus! Yeah. Is this just item? Is this just... It's like very small hitbox. Oh, it actually decent hitbox. Yeah, I die. Oh, like ba 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 Impactos. Why so high? Oh, this guy's weakness is in fire. Gold! Gold! Um. Gold! Oh, no, Nate! Uh. Oh, that was not even in English. Alright. Don't worry, my friend. I'll sing it. Blah, 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 blah. Don't worry, my friend. Couldn't read it if I wanted to because it was in Portuguese. Portuguese. Uh, what? Why was the door behind it so small? So this thing was the one who killed Nate. We're gonna juggle him until he dies. Yes. Orcs aren't this big normally. He must have consumed his life force. Consumed the life force of the ones he killed. Let's give him a good send off on to hell. Yeah, murder! Time for murder! Oh, he's fucking huge! Hey, I remember this oh, sprite. <laughs> oh, we can't juggle him. He's too good. Wait. Oh, we should have switched me to the, late, the other person. Yeah, I guess, right? Oh, we got. Okay, yeah. Is this compelling gameplay? <laughs> Am I, am I enjoying my spot here? Yeah, we're Dude, look at that health. Look at that health, yeah. I was keeping here. No, you stupid AI knocked him out. <laughs> this gameplay is so competitive. Yeah, move over here. There we go. Keep it. There we go, got it. So dumb. We got a combo, our Chambo, 92. Where's my man? They just moved us across the mana? Oh shit, I went too far. There we go. Why are my moves like not costing mana? I don't understand. My god, so. Oh, random. there's like a tutorial I didn't read right there. It's too busy oh, okay. juggling him. A billion XP! Time for like 10 level ups. What? Wigglog? Wait, what the fuck just happened? So you're not from Angorian? No, I'm a foreigner too. Gaijin. But unlike you, my clan decided to stay here, but I wanted to follow my own path. My brother Shinji was the one who left we, to leave the clan. I just realized I'm like leaning farther and farther in my chair. Uh, 
I see. So the Traveler's blood is not unknown to you. What? Everything is in order. Ready to hit the road? I suppose. Very well. See ya, Takeshi. We don't need any more party members. That would be stupid. Wait a minute. I have another request. A rather question. As I said before, I want to find my own path. But currently, there's nothing to do. And I don't like being stuck in a single place for too long. Where is this going to? Uh, yeah, yeah. We need more party members. It's, why, why are we arguing about it? We have more party members means more damage. Permanent party member. Something happened. New terms added to the guide. All right, cool. Uh, all right. What's next? Huh? We completed quests. Do we get XP for that? Uh, who knows? Who knows? How much money do I have? Two thousand dollars. All right. Time to buy everything. Alright. What do you got? Uh, Alright. We need to buy this ring for you and the other person. Movement speed. Interesting. What? I'm Why can I buy more than one of these at a time? I don't know why this is happening, but okay. Um... Money grabbers? No, just damage, thanks. We don't need defense, that's stupid. Uh, let's go to this armor guy. I think he sold something. Listen, we need to one-shot everyone. That'll make the comment. This place isn't open yet. What do you mean? He's... Wh what? Uh, sword badge? What is this equipped on? It looks like it's equipped on wherever the... What? Equipment. Takeshi. Oh, he took both of them. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Sick. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Unless you don't want to play as Takeshi. Uh, no, put me put me back actually as uh, as Perla because I can do the lightning thingy. All right. I don't know. Takeshi's move is that little. I guess it's a. Uh, what did you? Learn? I guess it has a good hitbox, but it's kind of funny. It's all tiny and versus Perla's that. giant lightning. So you have Lightning Flash and Silph Reversal? Are you, are you able to do these, do you think? Uh, up and Lightning. Sucks. I can try it next time. I don't, I don't know what Lightning... I'll, I don't think so. I, I jumped. I didn't, press, I didn't press up and forward them. Or up yeah. and down. Neutral buttons and stuff. Uh, Alright. Oh, this is where you got the apples that I did not need. Um, <laughs> so... Objectives. God damn it. Uh, okay, this still is not updated, so I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, guess I'll leave? Question mark? Alright, well, oops. Well, I screwed that up. There's like a thing there. I don't know, whatever. What's that gonna happen if I cross this bridge? Okay, I suddenly have this. Weird. Someone in Linduin might be able to decipher Emma's parchment. What are you talking about? Thankfully, she's still oblivious to the fact that I know what it says. This might not, might be a good starting point to look for that. Otsutsuki. Something tells me I did some sort of like sequence break or something. <laughs> Joseph? Yes. I guess we'll find out. You know that scroll? Yeah. You know that scroll? Hold the archer. I said it would go faster. I don't want to go into a town. The doing. I... Oh, I see. This is giving me deja vu to treasonous Tom for some reason. This map. Um. Oh God. No, no. I gotta. I gotta not do. I gotta not get hung up on trying to do this shit. Unless this person sells swords. That's funny. has a funny shirtless design. Yeah. Oh, I th okay. I, he's just shirtless. I thought he was wearing like a bralette or something. Like, why? Yeah, he's <laughs> why got like a do that? cummerbund type thing, I think. Whatever whatever it's called. I don't know. Big old, big old belt. Big belt. Big ass belt that they had in Diablo 2 that like can hold four rows of potions. Championship belt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Um, why am I here to translate a fucking thing somehow? Uh, for some fucking reason? Reach Lindu. Yep, I've done that. Someone. Okay, let's look for some sort of house that seems like it belongs to a smart person. I won't barge in and out, so maybe knock on the door. Uh, okay. Okay. There's an inn. Oh, this is kind of weirdly placed. Uh, uh huh. I guess this child mustn't have the answer. Mi madre mi ha dejado salir al jugar y no pienso dejar que alguien me interrumpa. Good to know, kid. Um, so yeah, I can't talk to any of these people, so... Oh, wait, what's this? This house that I couldn't even see the path to, really. Your power! Oh, anime's happening. This must be the story. <gasps> what are you? Star. Isn't it wrong to ask a question without presenting yourself? What the fuck is happening? You'll have to forgive me. <laughs> Your power is kind of exotic to say. My name's Cielo! Off the known Blizzard as Witch. The Blizzard Witch. Wait, do you know Joseph? Is that your name? Yes, it is. Why? What? Okay, so hers are transparent, but his has the board. No, hers are transparent too now. And his are not transparent. Text boxes, I mean. Your aura is most strange. Are you perhaps a foreigner? Are you Gaijin? That I am. Is something wrong with that? Even your fashion sense. You are something. I think I have an idea where you come from. You know? Cielo, what does all this mean? Don't you tell know. me you can't sense it. Uh, why would... I've trained you to... Oh, have you? Oh, I guess these people know each other. Certainly a friend. Friends one is quite violent. Yes, he's a warrior who kills people for a living, so that that seems like that's accurate. <laughs> I'm beyond... I ain't got... Oh, okay, I was just saying. I sense something beyond normal. I'm a <laughs> giant freak. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter then. Nothing matters. Yeah, nothing matters. Looking for my siblings. How dare you? This is a rare type of wording? Why do you want me to translate it? I can't read it, but I know it's important. If you don't mind me asking, how did... No, what? What? Why? They just... I... Just... What? Oh, it said R trigger to go faster or L trigger? No, it doesn't go faster. All right. Uh, yeah, we're kind of getting close to time here, so I'm kind of like, yeah. Gah. I kind of just want to see what happens next, and this is just like, kind of back and forth type stuff. Do you need something? Oh, play step outside. Sure. So step outside and then be a perv and step back in. Oh, <laughs> damn! Didn't get the opportunity to. I need to ask you something. What's wrong? This is not good for you. Considering your personal reasons. And it's quite the unusual request. I have. What do you mean? I see. Huh. Uh, 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 uh. I can't decide for you, but if you'll need to, I won't object. For now, let's head over to the Henoa's Academy. Someone there might be able to assist me in translating the parchment. Fourth party member. All right, we did it. Chiello has joined. All right, cool. So what's she, what does she do? I'm guessing she's some sort of support character. You got some bosom cell player. Uh, yes, yeah, Cielo. Snow, 100 first cast time. What? Well, she's some sort of spellcaster. Uh, spellcasters in Tales games are usually. They're, they're kind of awkward because they're really bullshit to play as because they're boring to play as because you have cast times like in WoW. Yeah. And you can get interrupted. But like, I remember one of them, I guess it was Tales of Asperia. I remember my brother getting the mage character super juiced and like he did these challenge maps. Because when you spawn into a map in that game, it's like a limited arena. And the mage had a spell that like filled the entire fucking arena and like juggled all <laughs> the enemies. And he got his cast time so fast that he could just like step into the arena by himself and just be like bam 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 just juggle everyone everything in the fucking room would just be sent wow. into the sky. And it's pretty hilarious. The best builds. 
Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you want to focus heal. What? I do not understand what the second set of Ds are, man. What does this mean? Oh, wait, was <laughs> there a button to, like, switch or something? Let's see. You hold it down for additional stuff. Oh, hold it down? Maybe. Oh, I can't go to that. I remember checking the gamepad thing, and it crashed the game. Um, Sick. So, what am I looking for? Like this, yeah, combat. Uh, what does it say? Dash, defense and controller. RT. Uh, pressing shift will probably more hair dash. Yeah, I was wondering if there's like a switch to a different category of skills type button or something, I don't know. Anyway, so we have to go to somewhere. What did it say? I know it's Academy, okay. Fate, it says. Fate. Main quest is called Fate. Oh, it's right here, okay. Da, da, oh, wow, they're da, crazy. Da. They're insane. Oh, oh search, well, search my character. Wait, wait, yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing Domo and Kaku still. Yeah. So who do you want to be? Uh, let me just try Cielo. Yeah. Cast some lady. spells. Yeah. Fill the entire arena with bullshit. Uh, party. Alright. Uh, Cielo. Cheshi. Alright, cool. Should do it. I just want to walk down in circles to see, see this character. Oh, here we go. Why am I casting? What the fuck? What? Wait, I'm controlling. I'm controlling two characters. Yeah, you're controlling me. What's going? Is Why it because of parts? That's weird. It's when you started the cast, I think, or something. Yeah, I saw it go for both of us. Well, they were able to figure it out, I guess. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Your character controls Sick. me. Very good. Multi box character. Very good. Yeah. Not great for multiplayer, but I'm duo boxing. <laughs> So apparently I have to talk to people again, which is not great. Uh, I, yeah, we. Oh, you're not the person. All right, you're the person. You're the person who looks exactly like the other person. Finally, Ugh, I stop this before I, someone gets hurt or something. Just give me the next like dungeon to go into. I just want to see the next dungeon. So, so I'm kind of skipping all this. Yeah. Chat. <laughs> Uh, yes, 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 very good, yes. I really thought it said I could hold RT to skip these or something. Or RB? Oh, RB! There we go! Watch this, watch. If it does another again. Oh, there's no text anymore? Oh, man. So there's this feature of, like, choo! super fast mm. skip that's a plug-in from something. It's pretty funny. It goes insanely that. fast. Oh, I probably should read what we're supposed to do with this. No, I'm yeah, casting Yeah, I did now. it again. I did it again. Oh, I was pressing like the wrong button. Oh wait, so I'm if focused. I jump, it moves the camera up, but not when you do it. I don't. I don't know, dude. Yeah. Look at that. I'm so confused. I don't know if this. I don't know. I'm healing. I guess. I don't know what this does. Are you casting that ice spell? I think you're casting that ice. Spell. I might be. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just looking at my character. I didn't realize. Yeah. That's probably what's happening. Character hurt? Why is she like that? Whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. No, ba -da -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh, what it say to do now? What are we going? Ether disturbances. Uh, Harishia Lake. This? That's, this looks like an oasis. What do you mean, Harisha Lake? Oh, whoops! I'm not on the road. What the hell is this thing? Oh, this is bad. Negative one. Oh, it's oh yeah, that's me. That's me. Oh god, that does so much damage. Oh, yeah. oh my god, we got obliterated. Yeah. Why did that happen? Sixteen k. And there was no trace left of them. Except the hand. That's a trace. Uh, no, not try again. That boss was clearly not someone we're supposed to fight right now. Wait, how far back are we? Oh, holy shit. 
Should also say before you load it, we should have tried. Uh, right, we're way far back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. I'd be the end. Well, uh, I have the RB button now, so let's do that. Okay. Let's just get on the fucking road. So we're gonna have to deal with this poor shit. Yes, this thing. Let me out. Let me out. Vroom! So now I know I need to go right here. Mm-hmm. Choo choo choo. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom. It's not speeding up the eventing, though. It's only speeding up the text boxes, so I guess that won't cause bugs. Choo. Good to have this fast forward feature. You know, when you have uh, random encounters that are just like super enemies that can kill you. <laughs> uh, in a game where everything's been super easy up to this point. Yeah, that was uh, that was kind of yeah. Am I even? Oh, I am dashing. Okay. Yeah. No, no. Okay. Here, talk to this person, hold RB. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's like so fast that you don't even see how many text boxes there are. You have achieved something. Oh, it's over. Okay. All right, we're back where we were. Let's go ahead and save in the middle of this field here. Oh, do you want Cielo still? Uh, no, nah, put me back as Perla. Okay. Yeah, the character's, uh... It's pretty funny, though, to take over my character. Um, so where is this <laughs> fucking lake they're talking about? Lake to see what's going on. Uh, I don't know where this lake is, bro. I guess I should have read the text when we were talking. I just want to save so I don't forget the character. Uh, it doesn't appear on my map so far. I don't know. Uh, do I walk around this? This looks like desert, so I don't expect there to be a lake in the desert. Just walk past all this shit. Don't mind me. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool, we did it. Victory. Oh, that was interesting. It, like, changed kind of slowly tonight, instead of just immediately in one frame doing it. Uh... This portal safe, but who put it here? Let's go. Yes. To the water dungeon. Out of Boas? Yeah. Dungeons. Alright. Guadar Patita. Uh let's go straight. Doesn't seem to open. Damn it. Not a piece of kid. Oh no, bats! Oh, Le wow. bats. Holy oh, shit. Oh, no dagger. Wait, not if I do my super move. Yeah, they're weak to fire and I have a fire attack. That's all we need. Yeah. Fire attack. <laughs> no. I couldn't get oh around him. Oh my gosh, that was You're so big. Come back here. Can't guard against this. Your corner fucking trapped. Well, she's Marvel doing... vs. Cap all over. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just mashing our trigger. All right. Uh. 
not sure how far to go into this dungeon. We've kind of seen just about everything. So I'll let you decide when it's enough. I'm getting there, man. I guess we can really try to find the boss or something, but I'm pretty much yeah. pretty much over at this point. Yeah, juggle, 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 juggle. <laughs> All right, good work. We did it. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Boss, find the boss. I guess right, he trying to avoid random encounters, even though there's like no way. There's like yeah. no way. They're like, <laughs> yeah, it's, they're it's like, way too tight. Well, it's not that they're too tight; it's that they're massive. Like, uh, okay, instead yeah. of being one square, their hitbox seems to be like a three by three square or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, healed. You're defeated. You're defeated. You're defeated. I don't know what he's saying. You're defeated. You're defeated. You're defeated. You're defeated. <laughs> Mana is no issue, just mash buttons. Oh, what? Okay, I guess this was the wrong way then. Oh, Christ. Because there's nothing. I guess I should get the chest in case there's like a quest item or a key in it, but I'm it's gonna force me to fight this guy. No! <laughs> oh, wow. You can go off screen. I can go off screen later. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't get why I can't, I just can't do the, the lightning strikes sometimes. Or up, down. No! The fight ends too quickly, I can't test things. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll stop corner trapping them. No, that's fine. My I, I just, I'll, just, I'll just try it immediately. I try like three different things. A bunch of elents were learned. Apparently. Elix. Oh, I guess I should get this chest while I'm at it. I was avoiding them because I was assuming. Yeah, they're just gonna be garbage. My Elix. Uh. Excuse me, hello? There we go. LaGuardia. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Not that it matters. Uh, whoa, right, whoa. Let's What's this background? Yeah, this battle back is kind of bullshit. Whoa. Okay. No, you get, yeah, get him, get him. I'm, I'm just testing moves. I think I had down B? Air buttons? No. It's just this. Well, all of your special moves know. should be one button. I think it's, yeah, this is the button that is, yeah, this is the same. There we go, yeah. That's D or whatever it is. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Oh fuck, I didn't even see that guy. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can't get around him. Alright, if we don't see the boss, I don't know, like for the next room. <laughs> I'm pretty much over this. I'm super over this. Wow. Nice yeah, job. keep the guy up here. Oh, I can't do air moves. I'm <laughs> griefing. <laughs> game is so jank. <laughs> so was Tales of Arise also completely on a 2D plane? No. No, right? You could actually move up and down, yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, I mean, you could move uh, X and Z, but not... Well, you can... Maybe you can jump. We can't move my, move Y. It's the newer oh, okay. ones. The newer ones are 3D, but yeah, I don't, know yeah, if yeah. I don't remember if there's jumping or not. How gotcha. much how much vertical movement there is. Um, so these chests Vert are all bullshit Gallery. so far. Okay, there's a question mark over here. Oh my god, these guys blend. You're defeated. I mean, you're defeated. 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 You're defeated.
Press the quick switch to destroy the iron ball. Oh, it's a poozle. I guess, yeah, yeah, I gotta hit it a certain way. Is it a puzzle, or...? Who's lay? How is that a puzzle? And then that one moved out of the way, even though I touched it in the wrong way. Okay. Okay, I guess that's a puzzle. Just press every switch. Uh... Whoa, oh, he doesn't have... Um... Fixed direction on this. That's why it's like... Because I can't uh -oh. open it. I don't know why I'm turning. That's weird. Yeah, and the, the lock flashes. Yeah, because it's like... It's turning down. Or something. Actually, that doesn't make sense to me either. It's shorter you can face it. I don't know. Whatever. Fixed da -da 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 direction. What sucks is I'm gonna have to, we're gonna fight the other guy after this fight. Your defeat, your defeat. Oh, let me just what, leave the guy you off the screen. Screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't kill no, I mean, like... <laughs> it doesn't, like, be no, with or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going over there. Or, like, stop me from leaving you behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I can totally go off screen. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Yay! We sorted, Victor. guys. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yep, we're forced to fight these guys immediately. Uh, you're defeated, you're defeated. You're defeated. Ow, that's actually damage. Damage half occurred. What's my move? I guess that we, I'm human. Stop guarding, you coward! Take damage! You're defeated, you're defeated. You're defeated. Three impact those. Oh, people got hurt that time. Well, you're ceviche. I don't know what the hell happened. Our healer stopped healing, I guess. Is she, is she boom? Oh god, yeah, look at that low health. Uh, can I force her to heal? Let's see. Uh, does she have heals? What? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's cost so much. Huh. No, I want more healing. Well, I got a hundred of these apples. I guess I'll use them. Uh, <laughs> War maiden, samurai. <laughs> Swordsman, the most generic of them all. Yes. Uh, you're like out of mana. Why is your character always out of mana? Why do you have the worst mana efficiency? <laughs> what is this My bullshit? spamming. I mean, I'm spamming as hard heard. as I can. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> and this person's running out of mana too. So, uh, here's a switch. Okay. No. No, oh, I didn't want to fight, guys. I just want to be like, you're defeated, you're defeated. Whoa, it lags with gas, is that what that said? You're defeated, you're Yeah, I'm watching my, I don't know, I'm watching my mana pool drop. I don't know, it's, it's yours maybe would cost way less, yeah. My mana pool's empty now. And it started out like 130. Yeah, this spell, like, doesn't cost mana, I don't know. <laughs> I think the only time I'm using mana is when I accidentally use the wrong skill. Sick. I don't know what that's about. Uh, okay. Whoa. You found the silver key. Alright, so I will use that to open this gate over here. Cool. Ether key. Alright, so that opens the big door maybe. Okay. Uh... I don't see a person. Okay, I'm not going that way. Don't want any of this shit. Don't care. Garduar partida. Uh, okay. Is this the end of the game? What do you mean? Question marks. Boss. Oh my god. Body. You're defeated, you're defeated, you're defeated. Can you show us? Can you stunlock it? Oh my god, I'm getting stunlocked. Am I dead? What's happening? I can't move. Oh, I got confused between me and frozen. the samurai yeah. guy. Frozen. 
I'm trying to see if we take this under the enemy. You're defeated. You're defeated. Ow, ow, ow. We're dying. Okay, we're down. We're down. We're dying. <laughs> I think the boss, you have to stay away when it does the move that, like, he oh. does it. Oh. Like, the AOE. Oh, he's doing it? Run. I, I'm not I think sure. he's doing it. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. How's he guarding this? Yeah, he's casting again? Oh, he just cast a spell on you. It's like, stun launch. Heal us, party member. Yeah. Yeah, juggle, stay back. juggle him, juggle him. Oh, okay. juggle him. No, it's the time to juggle him. His weakness, but it's doing less damage for some reason. Oh, <laughs> you're juggling him. I didn't mean like that. Yeah, taking him on. Back taking the sky. Okay, I guess we figured it out. Yeah. This ads was the only on. reason we were struggling. Yeah. Compelling. Yeah. Oh god. Oh no, he got free! Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Hey, where am I? There I am. Oh shit, he's doing a thing. Oh, there oh I can't stop me. that. Oh. It just hits everyone. Okay, I guess it's unlocked. So the slot is the way to beat him, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get on the side of him. I'm so slow. You can't, like, interrupt him. Right. I, I think we're here. We got it. Yeah, it's fun. This is it. We did it. Solved. <laughs> yeah, take him to you. He's a spell. Make sure they're airborne so they can't fucking go. <laughs> Alright. Finishing combo time. <laughs> yeah. We did it. Hey, he's dead, I think. Alright, cool. Victory! Hey. Alright, let's, let's see what happens after this and then uh, that's it. That's I'm it, super yeah. over this. Mashing buttons, hooray! Yeah, we leveled up like a million times. I got it. The compelling is the game plan. Um. What? Okay. Uh. Defeat the beast. Explore the hidden temple. This isn't good. Must defeat Must the beast. Oh, the weakness. So I haven't even done half the quest, or like what? Because it says. One rewards for halfway, and the other one's for finishing. Uh, so, I mean, I use this plugin too, and what you should be doing is, as I complete the objectives, remove them from the list. <laughs> um, too much to ask for RPG main. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, I'm assuming I've done these things, defeated the beast, so what do I do now? Do I go back to the academy? The last quest I did just transported me immediately. So I'm gonna assume that we did the thing we we're supposed to do. Tempolo Akoto Entrada. Alright. We leveled up many times. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Did it. Good job, what's gonna happen? So this poor guy is just like, I just wanna go to meet my family, and he keeps getting these fucking side quests. Mm. And he's just like, I guess I'll help you. I don't know what my motivation is for doing such, but I guess I will. We did the thing, maybe. Story. Oh, oh I'm standing over here now, okay. <clears throat> Wow, you fought someone! Interesting. Believe it or not, that thing was siphoning either. Who, siphoning, who's nowhere? Was it? No, that was insanely strong. Thankfully, we could chain stunlock him so he couldn't attack us at all. Uh, yes, why is your sudden display of power just scared me? It was all the same level as those disturbances. Whoa. Is that that? Music. Lady Perla! Whoa, what's, what is it? Another side quest? We received a help request from the Northeast Intense. Barracks. Of course, you can get there as fast as possible. Whoa. This music, man. The request says that every single soldier died with no reason. Like, from a plague? Or from, like... Oh, okay. 
Then they all began to resurrect and attacked with one T the soldiers who managed to survive. Every single dead soldier turned into an undead. Is someone controlling the situation? The letter says Lady Wendy is already containing the situation, but she's not enough. Oh no, your daughter's gonna die because you, you put her in this situation. Like hell I will, my daughter's out there containing an entire horde of undead. Go, once you contain the situation, head over to Mount Silios. It is most silly. Uh-huh. Yeah? Okay, but what about this this quest? I finished this quest, right? So... Uh-huh. It's an interesting choice to force open the uh, quest log whenever you feel like it. And the music is still playing, even though that... Still jamming. Oh. Wait, isn't this the next quest? Uh... I feel like they're talking about the next quest, not the previous quest. I feel that weaker somehow. Ugh. Alright, cool. Apparently there's an unknown giant now. The other thing is, okay, so it gives us gives me all of the objectives at once. Right? Uh, the other thing you can do is give the objectives one at a time. So like head over to the thing, <laughs> then that gets removed, and then you replace it with the one that's the current objective. That's another thing you can do. Um, so... What in the hell is going on with these quests, though? Like, we definitely completed the ether disturbances. Oh, whoops, I went to all quests, sorry. That's me. In progress. Uh, oh, so it did. Okay, so we did do that one. There's no... I mean, that's a problem with the plugin. There's no real notification when quests are completed and stuff. You kind of have to, like... You know, use text boxes and stuff to create your own flourishes to explain what's going on. Um, so that was weird though I feel like they were talking about the next quest can I talk to her again and talk about this quest oh okay that opens it again uh, alright cool music but I guess we're done right yeah I'm, I mean I'm, I'm done <laughs> yeah. that title dude I forgot that was the title such a long the shadows of and that's such so generic shadows of the earth yeah i legitimately like have not been able to remember this title and when i saw it here i was like wait a minute did i copy this right shadows of the earth i didn't realize it was called that like this game takes place on earth or what i guess so yeah uh reminds me of there was a, an old i think it was a psp game called the legend of heroes and oh, i was yeah. like how did the, how did this get approved <laughs> so generic uh so yeah that that title, uh, I read this plot synopsis that has a lot of spoilers in it, actually. Because it says that Joseph is, like, the god of courage? <laughs> I'm just like, oh. what? Wait a minute, what? Uh, of courage. So, yeah, I don't know. It seems weird. Shadows of the Earth. The real real land legend. Awful. That, it's a lot. I have no idea what any of that like means or really has to do with the story yeah. we saw. Good old proper nouns, baby. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'd probably, I don't know, workshop that title a little bit. I don't understand. It is funny to me, I feel like, uh, not just RPG maker devs, but indie devs in general, will sometimes shove a lot of words on their title. Like, we gotta yeah. have a name and then a subtitle and sound cool, and it's like, why? Like, who does that? Like, wh why would you have such a long-ass title? And it's super generic, and sometimes the names are, yeah, super, super generic. Yeah, like, I remember, like, yeah. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, and I was just like, this, why? Why so many words? Yeah. Uh, is is the subtitle Reckoning really yeah. necessary? Like, it's such a generic word. Yeah, I don't know what was, what they were hoping to, like, express to players. Because yeah. I know one story, which is, uh, you know, Halo, the first Halo is called Halo Combat Evolved. And that was apparently the combat evolve part was like a note from like a suit who was like, "People need to know this game's about shooting shit," because Halo doesn't explain uh... that. So like that's why that says, but they dropped it immediately like after all the other you know, yeah, yeah, yeah after just Halo two, Halo three, because you know at that point people knew what Halo was. So yes, um. But yeah, I don't know. Long, long ass titles. Uh, they, I guess they look cool. They sound official or something. But like, 
I can't, I can't remember this title for the life of me. It's like crazy. Um, Shadows of the Earth. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does Why? This, does this game take place on Earth? It doesn't seem like it does. And it's it's such a lame name. <laughs> Uh, so like, yeah, there's no there's no shadows in like darkness, at least not yet. Uh, might as well name it. I don't know. Shadows. That'd be a better name. Just shadows. Shadows. The brilliant legend. Yeah, I would like that more than shadows of the earth. Yeah, or like and yeah, he's, he's a fallen god, so you could call it like fallen god saga or something, or yeah, <laughs> or god of courage. Anything to like kind of say what the game is actually about maybe <laughs> yeah it's just tough um but i guess part of the problem with that is that uh i don't really get a good sense of what the game is about like the guy i don't know has amnesia or something but he seems to know most everything and he knows that uh his objective is to find his family and then very blatantly he just keeps getting these side quests as he's doing the main quest like but fishing. <laughs> yeah, this is like one of the most blatant, uh, like the way that it's structured is really funny to me. Where it's just like, like, all right, I know that I need to do this. Like, oh, but wait, there's zombies attacking this town. You better go help. Like, okay, what town? Where? I guess I'll go do that. <laughs> yeah. How kind, how kind of you, hero. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I totally the the overall storyline yeah i mean it's... yeah and i know we're skipping a lot of dialogue because we have to get through we want to see as much content as possible that's part of it the other part was uh i start to get pretty like uh like i i lose uh interest i guess i guess i'll just put it that way when like the grammar is bad and like the english is kind of yeah. all over the place and like you know, the writing is obviously not succinct at all, too. So there's that. So it's just like, and yeah, I don't know, just a lot of back and forth seem unnecessary. We talk about back and forth a lot. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. I just, I also just didn't get the, the sense that, like, any of this stuff really meant a whole lot. Like, yeah, that, I was going to say, that's the thing is, I get some dialogue at the kind of out of character, but, you know. It does get to the point where a lot of the reading is kind of doesn't, you know, it's just busy talk reading and it gets kind of old and you kind of go, okay, I, you know, I guess it kind of helps. I don't even know if it's helping much character development either a lot of the time. So it just, it feels almost like they're writing it for the sake of having text to add quote unquote story, but it's not really, it's a lot of wasted talk, wasted breath talking and, yeah, like right at the you beginning, how much skipping. talk was like spent on like, oh, there was a hole in your armor. It was a pretty big hole. You must have been stabbed. Man, your armor's pretty strong, so someone must have yeah. been pretty strong. It's like, fucking <laughs> hell, please. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess in an ideal world, if you had a budget to have more custom art, he would just show us what he looks like with the <laughs> hole in his armor. And then yeah. the character could just go, you know, do the anime. Ugh! And then heal him through that and then be like, okay, cool. Thanks. Anyway, you're alive now. And then, because he just leaves the scene, any, scene anyway, I don't know why he doesn't just do that immediately. <laughs> like, why does he wait there for like 10 minutes and then he goes, oh, I gotta go. <laughs> I mean, I guess that could be a comedy point where at some point he's just like, oh my God, shut up. And he le <laughs> leaves. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that's, that's what this guy was trying. No, it doesn't yeah, seem like that was what he was going for. No. It's funny because... I get it. If you're trying to emulate how real people talk, it's not always going to be about progressing something or whatever. But I don't know if there's an official term for it, but I definitely know a lot of these RPG Maker games, that's kind of what happens with the writing, right? Is I think they want to add a character. What ends up happening is, yes, maybe not all right, not every word has to be progressing something, but when it, I try to add too much character, and then, yeah, you kind of realize the last five lines I've read haven't actually moved anything forward yeah it just gets really boring <laughs> yeah even if it quote unquote adds character yeah i would say you know don't try to hit that you know if you ever watch like certain types of american movies or i guess western movies right action ones especially 
they try to do this thing where like literally every line, every word of dialogue progresses the story. So like characters are almost almost speaking in monosyllabic grunts because it's so trimmed down. <laughs> and it starts to feel like way too fucking brief. Like nobody's actually talking to each other. Um I wouldn't say try to push that hard, but you know, try to try to have a good sense of like okay, maybe have one line of dialogue that's just for character and doesn't progress anything. Yeah. Not like five. Exactly. <laughs> and there's no right answer completely, but you can definitely meet meet in the middle somewhere and yeah and and maybe get some external uh and what is it insert external feedback to specifically for that because a lot of people if they're just kind of playing the game and you know maybe thinking of the gameplay more so they may not bring that up but when we're here yeah we're time and then we're, we're kind of timed and then i personally skip a lot of dialogue so it really has to get catch me fast and if i get to that point where yeah it's you know, because at first it's kind of like you, you may you may read it and go, "Why is this so boring?" You may not realize why, and then you kind of put it together. You go, oh, it's because it doesn't. Nothing's moving forward, and even in real life, people don't like people to to ramble too much about. You know, there's a bit of get to the point. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't mean it's good in an RPG maker game either. Yeah, man, I was watching. I was actually recently just watching a friend play Automatic Messiah, and it's real funny, man. When you get to watch firsthand, you can just tell that there's a point where, uh oh, this is this is running too long. He's starting to like click through the things too fast. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, I gotta go back yeah. and trim this part. Yep. Uh, but that's just how it is. You got you got trim. You gotta every yeah. things need to be interesting, especially at the beginning of the game. Like, just get into the action, especially a game like this where it's like button mashing. Like, just get and multiplayer. That was the other thing that we wanted to complain about is. Why, like, especially since you get this character who ends up being a playable, playable character anyway, why not just have her join the party immediately so we can at least have, like, people test out the damn controllers to make sure the game works. Yeah. To make sure Parsec works. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I have played Tales games where they don't give you all the party members right away, but I don't know. I, what I would say to that is that's... I hate that. Like, if you yeah. have multiplayer as your gimmick of your JRPG, then let me use it immediately. Start with, yeah, start with it. Like, you don't wanna, yeah, it, it it's kind of weird to be like, hold on, let me get to the spot where you can start playing, yeah. Yeah. Even if you have to modify the story, fine, whatever. Yeah, just yeah, just modify the story so that can be a thing. Okay. You know what's funny, though? In, in RE, Resident Evil 6, they had three main campaigns and then a fourth campaign. And the three main campaigns had a co-op. You, have, you know, they're just part of the story, two characters. And then the fourth campaign, you were supposed to just play as Ada. But I guess people wanted multiplayer and, like, you know, F the story. Who cares? Just let me play. You know, this whole game is multiplayer, two player. So a lot of people were like, well, I want to play the last campaign, the mini campaign with a friend also, because I just played the whole game with a friend. So they just added this character that is completely non canon. <laughs> and he's just like a masked a masked uh, umbrella agent or something and he is no you know he's just there like as a gameplay element he doesn't talk he does no cutscenes, and there's parts where ada uh, she's like a whatever femme fatale or whatever so she's like a grappling hook and she you know does zips and flips up around wherever she's going and when you do it you see i think his name is wolf or something the, the umbrella guy you see him and then she shoots and then goes up and then he's like there at the top <laughs> or something you know what i mean <laughs> oh, just because he's just he's completely non-canon i remember he's dead space there. 3 is like that because they really pushed the multiplayer of that game and like yeah i remember my brother playing it and i wasn't playing it with him because i didn't i don't know i didn't care um but i remember watching him play and like all the jump scares for me came for came from he would like turn the corner and suddenly the other character would be there. It's like, how do you get here? What is this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> who is this guy? Is he Ridiculous. a ghost? <laughs> it's you. No, it's you should. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, they just, I will I say they, RE6 though. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say. I guess they assumed you'd play it in multiplayer. So that that that's why he would be there, and they didn't even think of how to animate him getting there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, RE6 is it was, it was interesting even though the game had a lot of problems. Uh it it's whole the the two player thing was 
implemented, right? It was the thing. The characters are in the whole story, and yes, you can play single player, and then your your AI companion. But the whole game is built around the two to having two characters, so the story doesn't change at all. Like nothing, nothing's jarring at all when you go from single to multi. But there was one really funny part where I played as Jake and my friend played as uh, Sherry, whatever. And there's one part where you get captured. And it does the whole, like, Jake is a great hand-to-hand -hand fighter, and Sherry's not. So, you know, you get captured, and other weapons are taken, and Jake has to break out. You know, he breaks out himself and then breaks Sherry out. And I remember I was doing the part, and I just, I was like, oh, I got to fight. Yeah. And then as I'm fighting, uh, my friend is like, I'm not doing anything. And I'm like, what are you, what? What are you talking about? He's like, I'm just stuck in this room. <laughs> and then I later watched, I think it was either I watched the stream, I watched the or I watched a YouTube of that section of Sherry's part. And she's just stuck in a room and you can see the arrow of Jake, where Jake is. So you see, you're just sitting in a room and you see Jake's arrow, like going back and forth, getting in fights. And you're just sitting there <laughs> waiting for Jake to come. It's pretty funny. Because I was like, oh, that's part of oh, yeah, I'm, I'm beating ass right now. And then he's like, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> wow. <So. laughs> but but yeah, overall, the game, you know, they really implemented the whole the whole game as being a, a two-player experience. So so playing as two characters, whatever, it's it, it's just part of it, right? It, and it, it works really, uh, really well, seamlessly, I guess. Is yeah. the term looking for? But yeah, actually, really quick. So dialogue thing, going back to dialogue thing really quick, and we'll get to rating, but there is a balance, right? Because in dialogue and script writing, whatever, you don't you don't write like how people really talk because people have stutters, they have tics, they say like, they say, you know, I mean, I say you know a lot. And I say you know because I'm really trying to not say like anymore because I can't stand when I'm listening to some interview and someone goes like, 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 you know, I, I can't stand it. So I'm really... <laughs> try to not say like and i know it comes out sometimes but that's one nice thing about this this quote-unquote podcast show whatever i don't know whatever show we're doing in general i said I, I tell people i do a, it's a podcast it's like three hours but you know show sounds weird like i'm doing a youtube show so i just say podcast but i i had definitely when i talk i try to really think about each word i say and sometimes it's exhausting but it does make me a better orator because if you kind of just let it go, that's when the, I don't know, I say uh sometimes a lot. I say like and, and all that stuff. Anyway, point is that dialogue in scripts and video games and movies and stuff, it's going to be a lot cleaner than how people really talk. And so you kind of have to find that middle ground where you want the people to sound like real people, but you also want to make sure you're progressing getting the point going, not wasting too much time because no one wants to hear people say, uh, uh, like, like, uh, you know, in a, in a actual thing, in an actual smoothie or something. But you don't want people to just sound like they're just reading off a script to progress the story. So it, it's a nice, it's, it's a balance, a, a fine line that you kind of have to walk. Yeah, it's really tough. I mean, we, I always give the advice of, uh, you know, you don't, your game doesn't have to have the best story, uh, it's it's just always safer safer to just trim it down, keep it short. You know, I don't. Yes. I don't think it's wise to try to, you know, be super verbose and write this gigantic like epic that's like a million words long. Like, no, just keep it short. It's not really the place. You yeah. know, even video games. I always tell video games are mixed media. You know, there's only so good a video game story can be. Or. On the other end of it, you, the story doesn't matter sometimes. You know, I've I've played and enjoyed so many games and couldn't give a shit, two shits about the story. Yeah. You know, you have this other thing. You have it's like comics. Comic writing can be worse if the art is really good, right? <laughs> <laughs> it, it has a it has a saving grace. And so, if you look at a lot of major video games, you know, people talk about like World of Warcraft, Warcraft. The world, the the writing in Warcraft is awful. <laughs> but there's a the world itself has a lot of stuff in it and the game is fun right yeah but the writing itself is atrocious a lot of the time and luckily video games have this kind of separate area it can do it can it can do that and 
So when you look at video game, you know, a lot of it, it has to sacrifice the story for gameplay. And then, you know, it's, and then you're also playing games. So that's the more important part usually when you're playing games. So the story, I don't know. It's, it's hard for, for me to really think a, a video game can have an amazing story, not because the writing can be necessarily worse or better. It's just that the medium sometimes the story just takes the backseat to the gameplay. And, and I think that can limit sometimes how good a story is, whether, whether it's the fault of the story itself or not, you know, it could, the limitation of the story could be because the game is so funny. You don't want to waste your time <laughs> or, you know what I mean? You want to get to the gameplay, right? That can be part of the story, you know, or, or the reason the story isn't as enjoyable. So. Yeah. And also as like an RPG game from a person whose first language is in English and, I don't think people are really expecting like Game of Thrones or something. And I guess the other the thing I always say about multiplayer games is multiplayer games really need to not focus on story because the story when you're playing a multiplayer game is, you know, the person dicking around with their friends. Like that's that's what's going to be the stories, whatever. Yeah, the emergent story, yeah. the player made story. Yeah. Cause like it's it's way you just can't get immersed in the same way as like a single player or like yes yeah I just find it impossible I always find it every time I've played like co op games in the past I've always been very aggravated by story and I like story games but I can't do them when they're multiplayer because it just gets in the way it's like it's just like it's like a multiplicative effect or something where it's like you know there's always this word of wisdom of like being careful with how much you take the control away from the player to do cutscenes yeah. because it comes, becomes frustrating. It's like, you know, multiplied when there's two people. Cause like it kind of, and it also, and maybe even exponential cause it like bounces off between each other where you're just like, ah, I want to play. I want to play too. I know. Like, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Let us play. Let us, let us make our own story with the co-op. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. That's, that's kind of where my, I mean, I always give the advice to trim down, but, even more so yeah. here. It's like triply so. Trim that was a huge story. rant that we had gave before ever starting the score. <laughs> that might be the biggest one we've done. Yeah. Well, let's blast through the score then to make up for it. Well, we 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 just handled the narrative <laughs> part, so we'll just yeah, we'll we'll say, oh, we'll my... kind of say we already talked about it, so just give it a score. But yeah, we we'll just have to gameplay. It's fine. We do gameplay first. Gameplay. Uh, so I I mean I was kind of having more fun than. It's kind of a funny thing. It's more fun than a typical RPG Maker game because it's fun to press a button and have it do a thing immediately. Like, as stupid as mashing buttons are, it's, it's like, literally if the same thing was just turn-based, it would be, like, way worse because I'd be, like, going through menus and selecting Tiger Strike, Tiger Strike, Tiger Strike, or whichever one I was doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but because I could just mash a button and, like, it's like, oh, it's alleviates a lot of the problem. Which isn't to say that this is good gameplay. Like I'm just mashing I'm literally mashing a button and juggling a guy in the air. Like Yes. With infinite mana. So it's like not even really a game <laughs> at that point. Um So yeah, I, I don't know. I just I'm just mashing buttons. I don't I didn't see a lot of depth to this. Yes, I agree. I, I'm gonna I'm feeling a low score because yeah the yeah, it's hard because yeah, you, maybe the technical score will go up because of that because it is a thing in multiplayer, even if it's local only, and and it's like an action game. But it was so bad, <laughs> it was yeah. so janky. I mean, the stun locking and the moves and the characters move all clunky and the moves are. It, it's not good, you know. It's it, I, I was looking at the game. It's it feels like a tech demo. Yeah, you know, in in terms of like, look at what what is possible. But I would never play this game for enjoyment, you know. Yeah, and that's that's how I felt with this. So it's tough because I want to give a little bit of points for it being a little bit adventurous, but at the same yeah. time, the game was straight not fun. <laughs> Definitely, it was fun for me to review it. And if I were to imagine myself playing this game for like even ten hours, no fucking way. Um, yeah, absolutely. I would probably hope that this game is only three hours long at the longest, because this this is gonna get old. This is this is old already. Yeah, I I would play less than you. I did like six fights, and I was by I don't know. I was already like <laughs> starting to just like sit in the corner and just like mash a button and screw around because I was so bored. <laughs> <laughs> juggling so, enemies in the sky trying to break the game juggling myself in the sky <laughs> disappearing going up 
Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I guess it's it's better than de- all default RPG Maker for sure. And it's better than attack, attack, attack RPG Makers. Just by virtue of at least I could just mash a button and not go through menus. Not holding space yeah. bar. <laughs> at least I have to yes. move a character and then press a button. And then sometimes I have to move again to make sure I keep juggling them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's so janky though. So I don't know. It's I, I almost feel we're giving it less score than a super generic RPG Maker RPG, but at the same time, it's it's so janky. I don't know. I can't give it a good score either. I mean, I was thinking like a three. I, don't I was leaning three or two point five. Yeah. Uh... We can do th- we can do three. We'll get we'll give a alternating because of a that is adventurous. Sure. Uh, so we talked about narrative. Um, it's not going to be good. Um. The writing was also, yeah, a lot of grammar errors. A lot of grammar errors, a lot of problems. Um, a lot of characters talking for way too long about things that are, like, not meaningful. Just, like, back and forth. Um, you want to do two? two? Uh, yeah, I kind of want to do a two, yeah. All right. Um, audio was default RPG Maker, so I'm kind of just, like, two. I don't it had know. some music. What was the music, though? Oh, the yeah, music? there was stock music and stuff. Some... That was kind of cool. Uh, give it like a, what do you think, a three or something? Let's do 2.5 because two would be RPG Maker default. Oh, and okay. We'll give a half point for some stuff not being super generic. Extra point for that. Visuals, uh, there was some custom art. Um, this is tough because at least, yeah, some custom art, yes, but it's also like very amateurish. And then the rest was RTP. Yeah. Uh, and there's some stock assets for the enemies. Um, I get one point five. One point five. Very Whoa. brutal. Because Whoa. Uh, I know, because I want to give one for just being RTP, but I'll give point five for the art. Because the, the at least the custom art. The problem is it wasn't good. It was at least cu- it was custom, but it wasn't good. Oh, so you're and saying... I say this as an artist who used to draw like that, and I don't want to. This is weird because I don't want to say like, oh, that's bad. Don't don't do art. No. It, I, I want to encourage that if you want to keep doing art, get better. But it, the style is just like, it's the thing you do when you're first learning, which is fine, you know? But I'm not saying don't release a game until you're better at art. Like, if you want to release it as such, fine. But I can tell by the, as a person who's done, you know, 2D coloring all, and, and illustration and stuff, the style of shading and the the style of shading is like the thing you do when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, not again, I'm not saying I'm trying, not trying to discourage person from doing more art and to get better over time. But like, it's, that's why I keep saying amateurish because it just, it's the things you mess up when you're, when you're first learning how to color, you know, and, and even like the line thickness, there's no weight in the lines or there's like a little bit of weight, but it was the the lines are too thick the the outlines of the characters because it's possible like drew it small and then blew it up or something and line thickness and the weight wasn't really there and then the the coloring was very it was like i said the stuff i've done when i was first learning so i can't i i appreciate that they're doing custom art and i want to encourage them to keep doing art but i i can't give a score as if the art is good (laughs) <laughs> yeah, because it's not, and then the majority of the art is RTP. I'm at, yeah. Well, it sounds know. like it sounds like we're having uh, an additional thing happen here, where we've where we're taking an extra hard line against the RTP now. It seems like which yeah, because it used to be two, right? Yeah, which I'm okay with. Like we've gotten to a point where we're just like we're we're sick of the RTP. And you know, it's funny. I was watch I was talking to Nolan about some game, and he was like, "Oh, I don't want to I." don't want to play that game because it's it looks too rtp so i was like oh man <laughs> even nolan even the nice guy yeah maybe we should uh i mean no one's no not that nice but uh, oh, okay the d7's the nice one he's the one who's not going to be like yeah you can still use rtp i'm like no we're just <laughs> we're just done we're done with it i guess which i'm fine with i'm fine with saying rtp is a death sentence <laughs> yeah i will say you know because because yeah our, our baseline before was two and yes we're being a little harsh for now but at the same time yeah i think i think it's fair because it's i mean not that much time has passed and rtp has been out for a lot, lot longer than we've been doing this show but i think it's we can yeah be harsher because a come on 
like stop stop putting this little effort and then b it's even some of the most basic rtp i mean you for for uh, you know i guess this is not we can say this but like for everyone who know for just people who know wu tiban made a really small project for a test the, for me to take a test on a thing we had to do oh i see yeah and sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was intended to be nothing to do with the art ass. Like the test was purely functionality. And he said, I'm going to make it as, you know, as generically fast artistically because it says functionality. And all those assets I saw in this game, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the thing you did as this thing that was not going to be released and, and it was purely to test functionality. You just had to throw art assets in because, you know, art assets can be part of functionality a lot of those things are in this game so i feel like yeah maybe a little biased but again it's it's like the most generic rtp stuff and so that would be the one because yeah it's like no more mr nice guy it's like come on people stop doing this but then i'll give 0.5 for at least including custom art even the custom art is not good it's like at least it's okay i i don't want to say it's beyond god awful but it's just it's just very amateurish yeah and I'll give you half a point for that. If it was really good art, you you know you'd get potentially two points, but whatever it's, you get half a point for using custom art, I guess. That was so. a really funny example to bring up because I literally spent like I don't know five minutes throwing that together the mapping on that. I spent the majority of the time. I don't know how to explain what this project is. Let's say let's just call it an e experiment. Uh, sure. I spent. I say function. I mean functionality test. I think functionality it's... experiment testing. Whatever. Sure. Um, yeah. I spent, you know, far more time because I only spent like two hours on it or something. Sure. The the vast majority of the time trying to design these functionality tests because uh, I had to like think and be creative. Uh, but the mapping, I was just like, whatever, trees. Here's 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 a path. Here's a here's a cave. Done. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's what a lot of RPG games maker games just look like. They just look like that yep. crap. It's pathetic. It's really bad. So yeah, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I mean, I don't know a lot of other games I know, but there's RTP in a lot of other games. But I feel that this game especially just really used like the bottom, the, just the most basic jellies and and I don't know Z Z Z Z, you know. So I'm yeah. I'm down to be a little bit harsher. Yeah, anytime I see slimes, I'm like, oh god, slimes and bees. Oh. Like, oh. Yeah, it's like come on. Uh, all right, yeah. so mapping, I guess, is uh pretty not going to be good either, right? right? Uh, I kind of want to throw this into mapping, the battle backgrounds, because we had that one, like, ice dungeon. Which this is like, all ice in the back wall, texture. Yeah. yeah, that was kind of yeah, kind of a choice. Um, so, uh, what, a two? Yeah, I mean, the mapping worked, so I guess it's two. It worked. We'll give it two. Yeah. Uh, technical is a lot to talk about, because... I don't know what level of work the dev did on the plugin itself, but as far as I know, the whole combat thing we did was a plugin. I don't know about the multiplayer, if that's part of the plugin or if that's something they did. Because that would be so, like, yeah. you know, so this real time combat would be one thing, but that's just the plugin. And, you know, I guess he had to kind of modify things to make hitboxes and animations and whatnot. <laughs> um, so that's something. It's not. You know, a lot. I mean, maybe RPG Maker devs will say it's a lot, but their RPG Maker devs don't understand how difficult they're game fools. Is. Yeah, <laughs> um, you have you have no idea how much harder it would be without all these like shortcuts that we have. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, so aside from that, there's the multiplayer. There's online multiplayer, which is absolutely has nothing to do with him. So we can't give him any points for that. That's just, no, that was parsec. That's yeah. parsec. That's completely completely not anything so anything it's tough fun. because i want to give some points for adventuring but it was also super janky yeah and there was broken things uh it's the combat tough. allowed uh i mean even if they weren't technically infinites because it seemed like the enemies would fall out eventually um yeah it, it still was like close enough to infinites because it's like oops i dropped them so let me just move a couple pixels and start it again yeah, really. Imagine d doing that in a game you paid for. You would, you would, you would think it's either a joke or it's a tech demo, not a not a real game. It's just so bad. <laughs> yeah. So, ugh. 
tough. It's, it's funny because there's a comment here about like, what did he say? He said something about combos. Maybe this wasn't to me. Maybe this was a. Uh, was it in here? Uh, maybe it was to me. Let's see. No, maybe it was to me. Let's see. Uh. Oh, I don't know where I saw that. I saw some comment about like, show me your cool combos, and I'm just like, okay, like you can infinite everything in the game with like yeah. just mashing buttons. Uh, <laughs> That's what the coolest combo it can be is stun locking that boss permanently and then killing him nice yeah. yeah i mean you're and your movement is so janky you know a lot of the jump is so you have to stop moving for or the jump it's, and then you have the air the forward dash <laughs> and the hitbox her boxes are kind of hard to tell exactly where they are sometimes so the com was at most what could they most be jump hit jump hit jump hit i don't know or stun lock like what what's the coolest combo you could even make in such a limited fighting engine I don't I don't think there's any I don't I don't think it's gonna be very good, to be completely honest. And we yeah. found the best combo, which is an infinite, so Yeah. As soon as you have two players, it seems like it's pretty much automatic able to stun lock with just about anything. But yeah. otherwise you can corner stun lock people pretty well. Um I guess the push stun does eventually push them inside of your hitbox. It seemed like that would happen to me a few times. Yeah. Um <laughs> or I guess yeah, hitbox. Um her box tag, I mean, if you want to be, you like in, in your character or your character's tag? Uh, like they would go inside of me, so I would be swinging past them. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. Uh, yeah, the hit, okay. Because they like bounce off the wall or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I see, sure. Yeah. So, there's, so there's that, but like, yeah, I was, just, I was just mashing, man. I was just mashing, like. Yep. Um, yep. And, you know, uh, so, uh, Tony, I guess you've never played Tales? I have not. Uh, so Tales, at least from playing Tales of Symphonia, and I believe each game has a similar design concept here, the way Tales of Symphonia works is you have, like, an auto attack, and that's, like, two or three hits, or maybe four, depending on, like, if the character's <laughs> cool or something. Um, and then what you're supposed to do is you chain off of your like basic attacks, your special attacks, and you have like level one, level two, level three, and you have to chain them in order like that. So you have to like choose uh, good skills that combo into each other. So you kind of get a sense of like building a combo because you have to like find which uh, abilities chain together the best, I guess. It's not really hard to do at all, but it feels like you're doing something. But yeah, ultimately. Ultimately, what you do is you, like, auto, 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 one, two, three. Auto, 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 one, two, three. Like, you do that. But part of that, too, is you run out of mana really fast, so you have to, like, auto a lot to get your mana back or use an item. So there's a little bit of an attrition system. Um, yeah. But, yeah, like a fighting game, there's just way more, like, push stun. Enemies fall out. A lot more enemies that just, like, have uh, super armor or, like, break out of your combos, I believe, if I remember correctly. So you can't just like fucking juggle everything by mashing one button <laughs> yeah 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 there's yeah pushback is usually for frame data will and pushback will some combination of those two will prevent most infinites and then if there's an infinite game then you know if it's super bad then usually at least the infinite can be hard to do or at least yeah it has some variance not you know the games that have like the really you know, like jab, 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 infinites. Those are, you know, no one plays those games at all seriously. <laughs> it's like some random old school SNES Sailor Moon game or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I do get that like Tales, I mean, in terms of being a fighting game, they're obviously way simpler. It's a lot easier to just do combos. And the whole attrition system I mentioned isn't like, it's not like a brain melter to figure out, but it's something. It feels more like a game. And even then I would say like, it can get kind of boring um, at times because uh, just it's you know it's just typical JRPG problem. It's just there's just too much damn grinding sometimes. You're like, <laughs> okay, I don't want to fight these things anymore. Um, but yeah, I don't know. There's, it just felt feels more like it understands the concept of like combos and not being just mashing one button. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but even then, like your other moves, you know, depending on the character, some of them seem either be redundant like the the guy who 
did the sword with the katana. It just, I don't know, it just seemed like another attack. And then you had the girl with the lightning, Perla, that, I don't know, just a bigger hitbox attack, you know? And then that, if you hit them a certain way or you ran out of mana, you, you break the juggle. So just hit them with the same move over and over and keep them in a permanent juggle. Yeah. It, it, and then the other girl had a cast, which is like, okay, I guess. But then you just press the button and she just auto targets the cast. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. And she seemed to be have some issue where her casting bar was taking over me or something yes uh, yes that was hilarious yeah i did just somehow got control of you by so that, casting with her it was yeah. so awkward so that was i even got control like straight up like i i moved left and right and your character did the same move yeah that was i really just got control of your character so i don't know if that's a problem with the plug-in or something but uh you know she seemed like she was working okay just when the computer was controlling her yeah. Um, but yeah. Oof. Uh, so I mean, it, in terms of like stuff that's been added, that's why I was kind of talking about this technical thing. There's only those two things, which is this plugin and then local multiplayer. And yeah. And there's a lot of and everything else is just like kind of jank. Um, yeah. A lot of issues. Uh, I the quest mod I was complaining about. It's kind of funny because I guess like maybe I'm I, I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to be the only person who complains about this quest mod because. In all of the, even my harshest critics, which, you know, would include you, Tony, like, no one bothers to even look at the quest mod. So I'm kind of yes. like, so I'm kind of like, damn, because I actually did spend a pretty good amount of time making sure that, like, it kind of step by step does guide you through everything. So you can always open it and look and it'll tell you, like, exactly what's going on. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, the, I kind of feel like as much as I hate the UI flow of that plugin, um, in terms of, like, Funk, the amount of control that Yamfly gives you for like creating these quest flags and like turning them on and off and how you can do it there and, and when it basically works exactly like how I would expect it to work for like a real RPG game engine which is to say it should be fucking default in the RPG maker um, yeah <laughs> but um but yeah it works perfectly it were in that regard it works perfectly absolutely perfectly so like if you want to make a quest system in your game um if you think that plugin works stupidly, then I don't know what to tell you. You don't know how quest design works in video games because it works exactly the way that I would predict an RPG maker game or an RPG game to work. Um, yeah. And, you know, here I see it being used in like the most blunt way where it's just like, okay, here's all of the objectives at once. And then so it kind of seems like the quests aren't even turning in sometimes. So I don't like, I'm trying to like check it to be like, to give me guidance, but doesn't always give me doesn't update like ever so it doesn't really do that as well i mean i'm sure we're going to get that argument of like oh it's an old school game eh. like old school games don't give you step-by-step -step instructions but like, they also don't have quest logs so if yeah. you add the quest log you might as well make it modern because that's yeah yeah you might as well have it work like it's supposed yeah. to like you know if you're playing world of warcraft and you have a quest that says kill 10 bandits you kill the 10 bandits and it says okay you've done you're done killing the 10 bandits now go back to the guy like it tells you yeah <laughs> and if you open if you're like huh what should what, what am i supposed to be doing and you blatantly open the quest log button then it should fucking look like oh i i did the thing that it told me to do who gave me this quest oh right this person did now it tells me to go back to that person or maybe I'm supposed to turn it in somewhere else, so it tells me that. Um, you know, these are all things a quest log should do. Uh, yep. That's I don't know. I, I like I said, I'm for some reason I'm the only person who seems to be interested in looking at quest logs. So I apologize if I'm the <laughs> if I'm the only person who's complained about this. But you know, if this is a professional thing that goes out to like a more broader audience, then like. I'm pretty sure other people will be like, oh, what am I supposed to be doing? Let me open the quest log and be like, what? Didn't I do this already? What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit, uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, and then that's where, you know, and, the, and, and a lot, that's going to happen with a lot of things in this game. <laughs> yeah. go, this doesn't seem like, this seems like a tech demo, you know, this seems yeah. like a huge bug. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of that. I guess maybe that, quest log is kind of telling of like I don't know the amount of effort or thought into like features or something where it's just like 
yeah, it basically works. Here's here it yeah. is. Not pay for my game. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know if this game's gonna cost money. I didn't. I wasn't told oh, okay, that. Okay. Once again. So I'm gonna assume that it's free. Uh, so maybe they'll help the value score. <laughs> uh, yeah. But anyway, technical. Um, yeah, we're 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 good. Uh, I think three. Yeah, three. Because it's better. It's oh, where am I typing? It's better than, you know, RTP, because it has stuff in it, and it's kind of fun to mash buttons. But like that's that's it. How that's just this is like, I don't know. People say old school. Sometimes I think of Atari, where the games are literally only entertaining for like five minutes, yeah. at least by modern standards. Anyway. Um, Indeed. And that's how I feel about this game. It's like, yeah, you can mash buttons. All right, I'm done with this. Goodbye. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I, I could not imagine playing this for more than, I don't know. Like I said, I was already, I was pretty much bored by the first fight. And then I gave it a few more fights just to finish out this this play, but on our little video. But <laughs> yeah, I have zero, zero percent interest in ever finishing this game. Yeah, imagine. Way too boring. Imagine if this was one of those devs who was like, I'm going to make a 70 hour epic, just like Tales of Symphonia. And you're like, no Ugh. way, bro. Yeah. This Super game should boring. be maybe three hours at best. <laughs> um, value. So, yeah, if we're assuming that it's free and our suggested price is free this, he did say it's early access so i guess i don't know once it's fully released we can judge if it be, should be negative cost for testers <laughs> um, uh i mean it's so odd yeah it's it's just i get it's it's dumb but a lot of stuff that that is unfinished is stuff that isn't related to i don't know further in development it's like it's just stuff that would need to be fixed as is like the combat and the jankiness I'm assuming this is this is what he was going to release with the style. You know, it's not like they would put this prototype in horrible prototype and then be like, "Oh, it's going to be way better when I finish it." It's like, no, if you put in this style of combat, it's probably going to be something like this. Yeah, maybe a little less janky, but it's it's yeah, whatever. It's not good. So the value, you know, it's not. Sometimes I always think about it. it's not just about because because if if it was only against other games, quote unquote, then free would always be a ten, right? So. It was, it's always the judge of compared to any other things you can do also. So I would give this game I don't know. A two? A two. Wow. Or no, sorry, sorry, not two. Sorry. It's free. So Yeah. But a two if it costs money. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's free, but it's like so boring. So I don't know, four? <laughs> uh I think four is kind of fair. Uh I was because I guess five is kind of where I go when it's like the price is appropriate for it. But I guess I felt a little bored, so that's why I'm taking off a point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, overall go. impression. I feel like... I actually feel like I'm going to be... Oh, I guess this happens a lot, but I think I'm going to be grade way higher than you, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, let me yeah. Uh Do you want to think about it? I think I know I think I know what I'm gonna give it if I if you want me to go first. Okay, I have a decent idea. So I'll, I'll, I won't be swayed by yours, but go ahead, what's yours? Uh I think I'm gonna give it I think I'm gonna give it Oh boy, now I'm on the funds. Oh, you know what? <laughs> we we have a solution for this. It's called sure. plus oops, plus Whoa. Oh my god, where am I typing? Sorry, I have this wacky ass setup here. Plus minus. D plus minus. Mm. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> I was kind of in yeah. between a plus and just the regular D. Uh, but I was like, I don't know if it's a D plus, because D plus is like on the cusp of a C minus, and C minus is a game that I could. I don't know. that I. A C minus is a decent score. Yeah, C minus is a decent score. Like, very, very honestly, yeah. Yeah. Okay, like fair C, point. Like, like C, I gave Octopath Traveler two a C minus. Like that's yeah, that's a yeah. good ass score. Yeah, C minus by our cynical heavy <laughs> critique is is actually quite a good score to be completely <laughs> honest. It really is. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Uh, uh, for me, I am going to give it a D minus. D just minus. one minus. I won't even do two minus. Oh, nice. I'll be nice, yeah. 
just a single minus. Yeah, I mean, it got some laughs out of me. Um, arguably cheap laughs that were not not intended. But, uh, <laughs> but, you know, enjoyment's enjoyment. Yeah. Uh, we actually played for, I don't know, around an hour. It might have been a little over an hour, like an hour and 25 or whatever. Something like that. I think because, yeah, it, when you reloaded, it said it was like an hour or something. But it, it, the cut back obviously, so yeah, probably hour, around an hour is fine. Yeah. Uh, so game. Uh, let's see. Uh, our first multiplayer game. Oh yeah, let's <laughs> our first multi Tales of Jake. Our first multiplayer game. Uh, tech demo question mark. <laughs> yeah. Tech demo. You know that is kind of how it works with a lot of these like plugins. Some of these big plugins are really scary. Because they're they're like RPG maker projects themselves, and they never get fucking finished. Like <laughs> uh, so I, that, yeah. That, that I was gonna say that when you're talking about plugins, I was like, man, I, this seems like a total ripe for the unfinishing. You know, yeah. This graveyard of people being like, I have this idea, and they do like, or maybe they do finish it in one version, and then there's a bunch of bugs, and they just go, well, I'm not, I'm done. <laughs> like I'm not done with this this project, and they move on and. It becomes useless because eventually the you know it becomes too dated and doesn't work anymore. Yeah, like that uh, pixel movement plugin I use is in that same state where I think that the dev hasn't looked at it in forever. Uh, Actually, which is look. unfortunate. It's not. I think I am working around it. I mean, obviously, it's causing a lot of problems, forcing me to change my designs and so, at times, and yeah, you know, make me choose between plugins and stuff. Uh, ultimately, there's only one bug that's you know really totally unacceptable and unavoidable it's that one where you're trying to click on the ground and it just doesn't want to go oh yeah so it, i guess i'll you know at, at, i'm just gonna have to hire a programmer to figure that out because i don't think it's anything i can fix uh fun so that's cool that's, <laughs> that's for pixel yeah all yeah. War for, for pixel movement yeah that's yeah. brutal and programmers you know if if you've ever met one they hate working on other people's fucking shit so i'm sure they'll be happy to have that project and charge me a lot of money lol because <laughs> they you know they might be like well I'd, they always would rather make their own shit but like you know obviously this plugin is so advanced that i'm like i'm not remaking this like that, yeah i'm sure that would take you six months or something to do yeah uh, so <laughs> pay them pay you pay them a full-time salary LOL. Yeah, it's like fucking ridiculous um but yeah, that's that's kind of why, because like there's that, uh, we've seen briefly the uh, tactical RPG, whatever you want to call it, the grid-based tactics type game, gameplay that was in um, Starshift. Yeah, that, that's Rebellion, another, yeah. That's another one of these plugins that I've always had my eye on, but I think it's kind of the same thing where it's just like, it's so jank, and <laughs> I don't know if they'll ever finish all fixing all the bugs with it. I'm just like, ah... It's unfortunate because, you know, tactics JRPG is a very real thing. JRPGs are awesome. You know, FFT and Front... I, you know, Front Mission 3 is one of my favorite uh, JRPS1 games, and it's getting a remake. Front Mission 1 and 2 have already been released as remakes, and Front Mission, so Front Mission 3 is inevitable. And 1 and 2 did, hadn't been released in America officially until the remakes. But three is when, you know, I remember I, I liked three a lot and I said, oh, I'll, I'll go give a try with one. I remember I was playing one I, as I was booting up one. I thought, man, I wonder how much stuff got fixed in three that sucked in one and two. And I played one and I just like, I couldn't stand it. I was like, this game sucks ass. <laughs> but, so I'm like waiting for three, but uh, it's JRPG tactics. Tactics JRPGs are really, I don't know. I they're great and they should be i don't want to say the rpg makers job to make it easy to make them but they really are a, a thing to do they're fun and yeah. some some engine should maybe make i mean i'd be on rpg maker i guess because it, it's the jrpg east of the engines but some engine should make a tactics jrpg well either that know, or like a crpg stronghold. maker you know sure yeah because those usually have grid-based stuff in them yeah. I mean, I like the free form, just walking around and combat can be turned on and off. Like, I've played a lot of uh, Spiderweb. I shouldn't say a lot. I've played Spiderweb software games. They're a company that still makes those types of games, and it's pretty nice. Okay. Yeah. 
There you go. Around, enter combat, and then you move along a grid when you're in combat. Just... Yeah, so RPG Maker, I mean, maybe it's too much to ask them to make it officially supported, but that would be cool without having to rely on some janky plugin. Yeah, there's so. just there's so many things I wish RPG Maker supported that it's like, I mean, they haven't even figured out how to solve, like Yanfly, retiring or whatever his status is. That's so funny. It's like, it's like they have to. I remember seeing like the announcement of like M M Z coming out. And there was like a fact that they wrote, and one of the questions that they put that they knew they had to put into their fact was, "Yanfly doesn't work for us. We don't know like what the status of his plugins is, so don't ask us." That's so funny. He's he's that big of a part of the of making the engine work viable. Yeah, he's like the like, biggest by far add-on maker. And that's that's why I don't want to use MZ. I'm too scared to work on this shit without. Because, I mean, obviously, there's a ton of plugin makers, and I have a ton of different people who have plugins, but, like, no one has done this thing where they've made, like, 200-plus plugins that all work together and, like, yeah. fix the majority of the game. Most, you know, devs will make, like, maybe 20 plugins at most or something, and they'll have some really cool ones. You're like, oh, man, diagonal movement or, like, this or that, or, like, more animation frames on your walk cycle. Like, great, these are amazing plugins, but, like... That's it. That's that's all they'll do. You can't depend on them to fix your entire fucking game. Yeah. Just 80 million missing features from RPG Maker. Um, which is yeah, which is ridiculous that that, that it, it even needs to be in that state. But yeah. you know, that's why most most serious people move away from RPG Maker. That's just yeah, the simple like truth. Insane to me that there's things like there's an element system in RPG Maker because of course, but you can't you can't do something like Oh, this state gives you bonus fire damage. You can't do that. You have to, you oh, have to wow. use a plugin to do that. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, that's Jeez. mind blowing to me. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're ranting. This is a long review. Yeah, uh, I don't know if there's anything much more to say. I, you know, I, I I applaud. I guess I didn't say I applaud this guy Arif on the forums for submitting the game and being brave. Oh yeah, because he seems like he watches the show. And he's like, I can't wait for you guys to... I was just looking forward to the ass-beating and me and my little game are going to receive. <laughs> so, you know, he seems to be aware of what he was in for. Hopefully yeah. hopefully that holds true. I, I always have this feeling that people say that and then this happens and they actually do get genuinely hurt. <laughs> <Cause>... <laughs> well, they're fools then, but... Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know what to tell you because... Um kind of I mean, the point I, of this show yeah it's the point of the show and i kind of felt like i knew that this thing was going to be jank because i think i've seen maybe or if, maybe i don't know if i've seen this game i think i've seen some other game that used it but yeah on top of that there are a lot of other problems i didn't expect like uh inconsistencies in localization like certain things yes in portuguese and uh or i assume portuguese i think it was portuguese um no it's a spanish oh is it castilian spanish it looked weird to me. No, it says from he says he's from Mexico. Oh, well, I guess I'm dumb. I guess I'm stupid. Um, okay. <laughs> it's just regular old Spanish. Wow. Um So anyway, uh any yeah, language. A lot of the words were in Spanish. And uh lots of typos. Lots of typos. Eyes weren't capitalized. And just strange grammar at times. Strange, like, sentence structure where I'm like, I don't know that that's how you would say that in Spanish. I don't know why you would say it like that. It just seems like awkward writing sometimes. But, you know, maybe I don't know. Obviously, I didn't even know it's just Spanish and not Portuguese. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> so maybe, I, maybe I'm less aware of idioms in other languages. Even less aware than I realize. Uh... But yeah, I don't know, jank, jank. My point was that there's a lot, a lot more jank than I expected, I guess. Yeah, you sent me, I think you sent me the the Steam link or something, or not whatever, one of the links. And I remember I looked at it and I was like, this looks so jank, just because you, you're using the tiny RPG Maker sprites and trying to make an actual hitbox hurtbox combo game. But I was like, whatever, I'm sure it is. I mean, I don't. And then, it, and then it was. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, I'm glad. Easy. I'm glad it got laughs. It got some laughs out of me. Uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, keep it short. Keep it. Keep trim dialogue. Keep it at, at under three hours, and then 
it'll be okay. <laughs> and then move on yeah. to the next game. That's always my advice. Just move on to the next game. Don't, you know, don't worry that if a game is bad and try to spend your entire life making it better. Like it's <laughs> try to fix it. Yeah, just take the lessons you learned and apply them to the next game. Sure. All right. Uh, All right. I think so, we're good. Yeah. So we're saying we're rambling too much. So I guess we should stop. Yes. Let's call it. All right. We'll see you guys next time.